Welcome to Elise. We're going to make you into this club's number one hostess. You'll need to come up with a name to use in the club. What would you like your name to be? Oh, I'm naming her? You shouldn't have given me this power. You really <laughs> shouldn't have given me this power. <laughs> Shrek, huh? <laughs> that works. You'll use that name at the club from now on. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Bishidio, and today we are continuing Yakuza 4 with Mr. Akiyama. Her faith is so good. Yes. Yes it is. Uh, I'm assuming that we will get to listen to it at some point during the actual playthrough, um, but it is the song that plays for like the little intro scene that they have before you press start. Uh, last time we played this, uh, let's see, we're in chapter 4. Need to head to Marimba, a bar over in the Champion District. Yep, that pink dot. We also have... Let's see... Right, right, this one. So there's a sub-story where we have to trade a pen with someone to get something better. Don't know where to go for that. I might leave that till uh, the end of Akiyama. And then we have the Hana sub-story, which I guess I'll finish up at some point today, possibly. Although I wasn't having a good time with that last time I worked on it. And then... Right, we have to talk to that guy. I might end up not doing this one. Of all the sub-stories, that might be the one I skip for sure. Just because I feel like it might take a while. Gotta check my horoscope. Haven't done that in weeks. Ooh, 92% love between Will and Majima. That's actually very good. That's a very good horoscope. <laughs> Your week's looking bright. Okay. Well. I think I'll start with story. And then we can switch to sub story. After that. I just want a little break from sub-story. Just for now. Uh-oh. Only 39% love between Rubo and Majima. Not great. Not great. The pen one, I think, continues at- oh, the pawn shop? I would have had to look that up. Yeah. Because I thought it was going to be somewhere, like, outside near the last place that I, I dealt with that. Yeah, so we could go there. I guess I could do that real quick. If it's not there, then I'll just go along with the story. Yeah, so we can go down from here. Only 9% love between Rubo and Kiryu. Wow! <laughs> wow we Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go do the story, and then maybe I'll look up uh, how to continue that after. Because uh, I don't think I'm at the end of his story yet. I don't know where to go. I guess we can just go down here. This should take us closer anyway. To where we need to go. In a little bit. Okay. Uh oh. That's what Google is for, I guess. Yeah, I'll just Google it after uh, some story. I'll let you know when you're near. Okay. Yeah, that's like the one reminder I need in chat is that one. <laughs> just because you said it's not obvious. But I don't know, maybe for the remake they changed it? That's possible. That would be an improvement, I would think, on the original. Is like, hey, this is your last chance to do anything Akiyama related. Might you want to take a moment to rethink your actions? You know? It only gives you a warning before the finale. Okay. At least they do that, I guess. Wow, look at this dude, though. 
Your waist is cinched, sir. <laughs> Look at his waist. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Where are we going? Over here? Oh, I was going to one of the bars that I know. It's a different place. <laughs> Homie's wearing a corset. I know! <laughs> That's what it looked like. It's rude to stare. I wasn't staring. I was just like, wow, this man's waist is sitch. He looks good. <laughs> you know? I'm not staring. I'm just like, hey, man. Okay, good! Oh. What? Oh. Marimba. This is the place. Hmm? It's locked. Anybody home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. No response. Huh. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Queen. This is the place Lily said she used to work. Oh, okay. So she worked at a bar, not a oh, hostess club. No. Oh, that word. Okay. Hey, cutie. You into that sort of thing? I'm sorry? You were taking a mighty long look at Drama Queen there. So what if I was? <laughs> oh, you naughty boy. You know that's an Alkama bar, right? Ah, I don't like that I had to say that out loud. What am I saying? Of course you do. Uh, that kind of bar? Are you serious? Uh, just for reference, this is a very derogatory word in Japanese. It looked awfully interested. Just saying. Don't worry though, I'm not judging. Now in, I think Yakuza 3, they used a English word that I'm not gonna repeat instead of this word uh, that they're using here, but they're both pretty bad. <laughs> oh, it's not like that. It's just, I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates... Uh... real girls. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded guy in the world, huh? This game is from a few years ago, but I don't like seeing this kind of stuff. Yep, yikes, yikes. Nope, but hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Things to do, places to be, you know. Maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, hot stuff. I'll be waiting. Grandma Queen's that kind of bar, huh? Why would Lily lie about working here? Maybe I should head inside. I am a bit confused why, why Lily said that. I don't know where they're going with this. He just... He's just breaking and entering? Is he supposed to be in here? I don't think so. What the? Oh, that's a dead person. That is a dead person in shorts? He's- he's dead! Must have been like this for a few days now by the smell of it. And we're just- He was just like, Ugh! Oh, he's dead! Well, that's a thing. Oh, Yakuza? The Shibata family crest. Hmm? I guess that means the owner was in cahoots with the Shibata? Well... <laughs> Why does it feel like I'm missing something? I better take another look around! Damn, I didn't know Akiyama was a detective. Lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably hand them out to customers in the hopes that other people will see it. Viral marketing or whatever. Oh, viral marketing or whatever. Okay, so she just got a lighter and then lied about where she worked, I guess. That's what he said earlier. These are just like the one Lily-chan had. It reeks in here. He's probably been rotting for a while now. Anything else to offer? That's a lot of blood. Nothing but a stain on the floor now. He's very nonchalant about this. That's probably all I'm gonna find. I better get out of here before someone sees me.
Detective Akiyama. Drama Queen's manager is dead. Murdered. And a few days ago, by the looks of it. Ew. What is this tune? Hey, Brandon, welcome. He's probably fine. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's just taking a nap and he wanted to look like a zombie, but he passed out in his zombie makeup. He was in the middle of getting ready for a convention or something. He was practically naked, too, just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanemura. Is it the same killer? Maybe someone from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I've got places to be. Sorry. You're no fun. Yeah, Yakuza, as a series, has not always been good <laughs> about lots of different topics, including LGBT-related ones. You know? In the middle of getting ready for his Dead Souls part. Exactly, yes. Every Yakuza game has its suspense theme, and this is Yakuza 4's. Ah. Uh, of course it's jazzy! This- this game's soundtrack is- is jazzy. Or maybe it's just for Akiyama. Akiyama seems like a jazzy kind of guy in general. Sticking around here will just land me in more trouble. Need to get back to Sky Finance. Yeah, stuff like that is what I would say is one of the things that I don't like about the series. Of course, this is an older game. And I feel like games from this time, of course, were really, really horrible with things like that. In general. They did get rid of some, some bad stuff, uh, I think in Y3. Some, uh, sub-stories that were not good, not necessary. And at least they did that for the remaster, but I guess they didn't get rid of everything. How to find out where to put that pen? Or to, uh. I don't know what that just said. <laughs> uh, okay. What was that sub story called? Oh, also, howdy! <laughs> How are y'all? Howdy, Brandon! I'm doing okay! How about you? <laughs> Tricks of the trade is what I'm looking for. Yep. Yeah. It auto-filled. Now, I just want to find out where the- well, I might just figure out how to do the rest of the sub-story, because I think it's going to take me a while to run around blindly searching for it. messed up giving it to the other dude. So actually I'm not sure how to progress. Because like the perfect ending would have been I trade with the other dude that had stomach problems and I got tickets.
but I'm sure I can finish it and just get like a check mark instead of a star. Apparently the next person would have been someone on Southern Tenkaichi Street. So maybe I can still go to him and then he just doesn't give me something as good. Otherwise I don't know what to do. Okay, Tenkaichi Street. Yeah, Southern Tenkaichi Street. So around here, let me go check if anyone is there. If not, I might not get to fulfill the sub story. We'll see. Almost forgot to say howdy. How rude of me, <laughs> Rubo. I'm existing. <laughs> I am also existing. Howdy, I'm doing good. That must suck. Those comments will say, I'm doing fantastic! <laughs> Have you ever said, like, hey, how you doing? And then someone actually said, I'm fantastic! I don't think I've ever spoken to someone that's responded that way. It's always like, oh, I'm doing good, or oh, I'm doing okay, or oh, I'm actually not doing that great, if they want to be honest, you know? <laughs> You would have to be a very, very enthusiastic person to say something like, fantastic. Everyone just says, I'm doing alright. Yeah, alright, okay, good, not so great, you know? I'm doing perfect! <laughs> I'm doing absolutely fantastic! <laughs> it just, it sounds fake. Like, it doesn't sound like someone can actually be feeling absolutely fantastic <laughs> when you ask them, where am I going again? Oh, I passed it. It was down there. I started going towards block. Oops. I want to hear watch Bojack Horseman. I saw the finale and I'm feeling things. I, I heard about people's reactions to the finale. I have only seen, I think, two seasons of Bojack. Myself? I'm definitely not caught up. But I did hear that the finale was a little gut-wrenching, a little sad. Maybe. People were emotional anyway. No, I'm pretty sure we all watch good shows here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Why are you encouraging fighting nowadays, Rubo? <laughs> what happened to you? You can finish it. You don't have a check mark yet. Oh yeah, I know it's not done. I'm just like, hmm. Because the walkthrough is telling me how to do it perfectly, not um, the check mark, which is what I'm gonna get by the end of it. So I might have to look up another walkthrough. That's like, oh, if you mess up, here's where you can go instead. Rose always changed to an instigator. Yeah, what happened, Rose? What happened? It's really good, I recommend catching up. I meant to go back and finish it. I think I was liking the show while I was watching it. It has been a while since I last watched it. I think maybe I caught up in between seasons. So the time between the seasons, I fell out of it. That happens to me quite a bit. Pick this up. Oh, not, a, not the person. I meant the sign. <laughs> in my heat action moment. Oh god. Yeah. We're definitely working on this heat action. <laughs> this is the one I use the most. I have the wall one yet. I have that one where I kick them in the skull. And I have the one where there needs to be a rail nearby. I think those are the only two. 
It's okay, I'm used to Brandon's ice cold takes. Oh, being an instigator, which, you know, is kind of my role. So back off, Ruba. Don't steal my character. <laughs> Maybe Rubo's trying to do reverse psychology or something. And I'm messing up their plan. Like, if Rubo keeps being the instigator, Brandon will have no choice but to not be the instigator. <laughs> no doubles! <laughs> There's the sign! There it is. Okay. Well, I guess let me look a little more. Let me look around a little more for the sub story. Oop, did someone else mess up like me? Okay. Thank you, Game Facts. Oh no, I messed up the substory of Tricks of the Trade. Is there anything I can do? <laughs> I'm not the only one. All right, so I need to go to the Millennium Tower. Apparently there's someone nearby there that wants a pan. This song is a bit of a jazzy bop though, isn't it? Matt, I do want to see a fight though. <laughs> Ooh, how could you? The guardrail one is the most annoying to develop. Yeah, yeah. I know Theater Square has plenty of rails. I just, I haven't really been over there too much. I don't really want to go too out of my way for it, you know? It's not that big of a deal to me. Where's this man that wants a pin? Maybe you. You want a pin? What a travesty! The most perfect melody just came to me. Yeah, he wants a pin. I have nothing to jot it down with. Oh no, no. It's slipping away. Something to write with. I have just the thing. Everything all right? Ah, I'm very sorry, but you wouldn't happen to have anything to write with, would you? I sure do. Oh, marvelous. May I borrow it? Of course. Be my guest. But, unfortunately, I can't let you have it for free. Yes, yes, that's fine. Please, just give it to me. Hurry! I'm losing the melody as we speak! It'll do. Here you go. Oh, a happy day! You've been such a big help. Although, to be honest, you haven't helped me so much as you've helped Japan's music industry. <laughs> uh-huh. You may think you just casually handed me a pen. But in actuality, you are the midwife at the birth of a song that will go down in history. What a description. Why, I may even mention you in my memoirs one day. His eyes, he's like, so intense. That's a uh, very kind of you. Now, in exchange for that pen... Yes, of course. I was so overcome with relief that I'd completely forgotten. Name your price. Oh, uh, I'd like something other than money, if that's all right. Would you? Well, that might be a problem. I don't really have anything ideal. Just this here. What is it? Stomach medicine. I'm pretty weak downstairs, if you catch my drift. Back to this again. Sure, I'll take it. Thanks. So I can redo it, basically. You exchange the stylish ballpoint pen for the stomach medicine. I'll be sure to speak highly of you in my memoirs. The man who made miracles. Has a nice ring to it. Something to look forward to. Bye now. Maybe there's someone else who needs this medicine. Yep. I think I remember where that was. Well, that's cool. You can just redo it. It's fine. Alright. I can probably just finish this sub-story today, then. Oh! Wilt has redeemed the magic worms! Let me do that. <laughs> a little pile. A little pile of magic worms. There you go. I didn't know there were multiple routes for the sub story. I guess it's not really a, a different route. It was more so a roundabout way to get back to where I was, because I messed up. But that's nice. I wonder if I'll still just get a check mark because I messed up. 
Okay, where was that? I think it's actually behind me. That guy wants to fight though, so I'm gonna go around. Yeah, I guess I'll just go around. Should eat a bunch of things at Cafe Alps to become their ally and get their heat action, because it's hysterical. I'll try to keep it in mind. Cosplayer at Ibi Sigmon asked me for the pen for her gothic Alita cosplay. Really? I remember there was a sub story in maybe Yakuza 0 or Kiwami. Or Kiwami 2. One of those three. Uh, where there was a cosplayer at the pawn shop asking for boots. And then we traded her boots and got something else in return. I don't know if that's what you're remembering, or if there's two different instances of a cosplayer in front of the pawn shop wanting something. I guess Yakuza has had multiple trading sub-stories. Oh god. <laughs> the way he just fell forward. Why don't you fall down so I can do a heat act? That's a metaphor. Oh, you got some food. What food did you get, Wilt? Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> you honestly don't know. I, I recall that sub-story in an earlier Yakuza game. Uh, yeah, this should be further this way and then up. Yes. Well, this just means we get to listen to this song for even longer. While I do all these sub stories. Yeah, there he is. Hello, sir. Sorry for making you wait multiple days. I'll pay. Oh, I'll pay before it's too late. Uh oh. Yikes. Here, try this. I feel like that was Kiwami, too. Yeah, probably. Uh, it's good to be alive. Heart. Sorry, I was a little distracted there. You have my thanks. Don't mention it. Whoops. I nearly neglected to give you a token of my gratitude. That won't do, now will it? <laughs> it's not much, but I hope you'll accept it. Oh, um, while I appreciate the sentiment, could you maybe give me something other than money? Hmm? Something other than money? You're a rarity, my friend. Let's see. Something that's not money. Sorry to say, these are about the extent of what I can give you. What are they? Tickets to a concert my company put together. This orchestra puts on an excellent performance, let me tell you. Of course, I don't know if you can make it. The concert's today. What do you think? Yes, absolutely. That's perfect. I'll gladly take those off your hands. Ah, a classical buff, are you? Will wonders never cease? Indeed. Now, you'll excuse me. Of course. Enjoy the concert. No, we won't. Yeah, this this track slaps. It what? Slaps. <laughs> Brandon agrees. Well, Brandon, you actually agreed with me on something? <laughs> Music brings us together. Oh, some buttered tortillas. Something really special. When you're a picky eater and the rest of your family decides to have something you don't like for dinner, you gotta improvise. That used to be a common snack for me. Buttered tortillas slap. <laughs> They're basic, but they slap. Totally. Now I'm thinking Brandon is being sarcastic. Oh wow. <laughs> it did a little spin. Man, I never 
get those. The ones you have are fresh though, Will, but like when you go to like a Mexican restaurant and they make them fresh and then you put butter on them, that slaps the most. Oops, I was fixing my worms <laughs> and now someone wants to fight me. Brandon says, I'm never sarcastic. Either, huh? You're never sarcastic and you never lie. Wow. <laughs> oh, I should look up where to go for the concert. Yeah, it's hard being perfect. <laughs> you don't like sarcasm, Brandon? They are good, but I think I overcooked them. Oh no! Every time you go for the tiger knee to the skull when the fight's already over, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude you're putting in a coma. <laughs> it is kind of overkill, isn't it? Gotta, gotta upgrade that heat action. Let's just put away that. We have so many items right now. One thing I do want to get rid of. <laughs> There's one thing I want to get rid of. That I don't want. Bye. <laughs> okay. They're fresh. I'm guessing not. I'm not gonna question it. I think it still tastes good. I just always remember like the the fresh warm tortillas when um, me and my family would go out to eat at Mexican restaurants. They were very very good. All they needed was the butter. We didn't need anything else. I think the need of the school is the farthest that one gets. Oh really? Well that's fine. I'm still gonna keep doing it. Uh, let me see where the the next thing is. Uh oh. Now that I've gotten my tickets, now that I'm on the right track for this sub story. Okay. Now we need to go to. Yeah, now we go to Tenkaichi Street. All right. Oh, they only changed once. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh. I'm getting into a lot of fights. <laughs> the knee to the skull is a good move. To be fair, we got a bike. That's not a bike, but that still works. There we go. Okay, I think um, I'm trying to save up for the wall heat action. That's probably gonna be easier to do than the rail one. Because there's plenty of walls around here. Uh, let me see actually. I have three points. 
Oh no, that's full crit. Yeah, wall smash is locked, but I can get this one. You grab a pole and use that momentum to crash down on an enemy. So this one... Near poles. Oh, like a telephone pole. Okay, let me unlock this one. And now I can do the wall one. Okay. Yeah, I might not get to upgrade this one unless I, I go out of my way to do it. Uh, but the pole and the wall one I can probably do. Over time. What else is left? I actually have enough for the, for the, the heat action. Whoops. Uh oh. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. At least now we can do it. I love how blunt the bike one is in the PS3 games. Yeah, it just like shows it and then it just cuts it off. <laughs> in Zero, it's not that abrupt, if I remember correctly, yeah. Some, maybe, question mark? Fresh, probably overcooked butter tortillas and Dr. Pepper, the true dinner. I would have that dinner to be honest, says Rubo. Sometimes that's that's what hits, you know? Sometimes that's it. Alright. Same. <laughs> Same, says Wilt, currently eating that meal. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it. How could you forget our tickets? It's all very strange. If I told Makieda once, I told him a thousand times. As soon as we get back, he's fired. Who's Makieda? My assistant. It was his job to put today's tickets in my breast pocket. Now I'm going to have to fire Tachikawa, too. It was his job to tell Makieka about the tickets. Makieda, not Makieka. You sure have a lot of assistants. I hope you have a backup plan, or else I'm going home. No, wait! Tickets, huh? I wonder. Excuse me, did you mean these tickets? Huh? Who are you? Listen, I'm a little busy at the- Oh, that's them! Talk about being in the right place at the right time. It's almost spooky. But that's beside the point. Please, let me have these tickets. I beg of you. I'll pay you for them, of course. How much? I'm afraid I'm out of cash. You accept checks. Actually, I prefer something other than money if possible. What? Money smell good? Hm. It's a strange world we live in. It's not every day I meet interesting people like you. A charming little encounter brought about by an untimely misfortune. How delightful! You may have this, then. We got a business card. A business card? I think the tickets were a little more valuable than that. Trust me, just take it. Hmm. Mori-san, Inrei Association President? What kind of association is this? Ha ha ha! You'll find out someday. You really saved my skin. Until we meet again. Hey, who is that? And how long are you two going to keep chatting away? Ha ha ha! Now, now. A lady like yourself must always keep her cool. Shall we go to the concert, my dear? Huh? What about the tickets? Delivered right on time. Ha <laughs> ha! This is Oyamaku. It's his job to pick up the slack when Makieda and Tachigawa drop the ball. How many assistants do you have, anyway? Oh well. At least it all worked out in the end. Let's be on our way, then. Thank you, Oyama-san. Yeah, sure. Y'all just love your Dr. Pepper, huh? Soda heathens. <laughs> but yeah, five comes out a week from today. Yeah, yeah, it's coming out soon. And I just started four. <laughs> so it's gonna, it's gonna take me a little bit to get to five, but I'm, I'm happy though about that because that means I don't have to wait between four and five. Listen, I haven't had any soda for at least a week. I'm doing good. That's true, that's true. Oh, Flame, you don't even drink soda. Shaved head remastered Saijima, let go. <laughs> Is he next? I don't I don't know the order of the characters. Oh, you used to drink Sprite, though. I still drink soda. We don't buy it to have at the house, though. We just buy it if we go out to eat somewhere or get fast food or something. Which technically is also not good for you, but, you know. 
<laughs> you bet I do! Dr. Pepper makes up a fair portion of my will to live! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Calvin, you have impeccable taste. There's nothing wrong with soda. It's y'all's choice of soda that disappoints me. Okay. What's what's the best soda in your opinion, Calvin? Huh? I've just been running around aimlessly. Yet again. Uh, next is... Theater Square. So let's go there. <laughs> What's wrong with Dr. Pepper? He's not even a real doctor. He, he doesn't have a PhD. He is a doctor. What does that mean? He is a doctor of sorts? What do you mean, Ruba? <laughs> Maybe by title only. Oh. I meant Shaved Head and Y5 Remaster. Is it spoilers to tell you who's next in the game? What do you mean, order of the characters you mean in this game? Yeah. Honestly, don't know what could be considered a spoiler besides the obvious, because she knows a lot about future games from Osmosis. Ah. Uh... I guess I wouldn't mind someone telling me who's next. I did ask just now. <laughs> who's next, I think. Um, I wouldn't really consider that a spoiler. To me, a spoiler is like... Related to plot? I have very, like, general... Oh no, I have a very, like, specific sense of spoiler. To me, a spoiler is like, Oh, this character dies in the game. Or, oh, it turns out that actually isn't her sister. It's a cousin. You know, like, something like that. Um, for Yakuza games, I generally, like, don't want people to tell me about what to do or, like, what's happening next, I guess. But I wouldn't really consider it a spoiler. That's more like, oh, don't tell me what to do. You know what I mean? Big boy is next. Okay, that's fine. See, I'm okay with that. I'm excited to see Saijima. When I do drink soda, I prefer Coca-Cola. Well, I will say I drink most sodas. <laughs> it's going up soon enough, I'll just let you find out. <laughs> and then Flame just says it. Oh my god. <laughs> soon enough! <laughs> He's big! Alright. So it's someone around here. Maybe you? <laughs> what is that face? Oh, hold on, there's a key. so thirsty. I think I drank too much. I feel sick. Hey, you there. Do you think it could get me something to drink? Don't worry. I don't expect you to do it for free. I'll pay you back. You always treat me nice, so I owe you anyway. I'll be waiting right here for that drink. You want something to drink? Okay, well that's not the sub story. That guy wants to fight. Oh, these guys want to fight! There's one dude here that needs these, uh... This business card. Maybe he's over there. Yeah, this is him. Nicola is good too. If we're out of Dr. Pepper and it's all we have that isn't sparkling water, I'll choose it over sparkling water. I don't really like sparkling water myself, actually. It's just like fizzy water, right? Or is that carbonated? No, there's sparkling and carbonated water, right? There's a difference between those. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I just was like confused because he had like the little face in there. Damn it! There's got to be some way to join the Ginry Association. Yeah. That name rings a bell. Excuse me. Did you just say Ginry Association? Yeah, I said it. What's it to you? Is it really that great? I pity you commoners. You common folk. 
The Gindrei Association is a social club open only to the creme de la creme. The connections you can make in that club can help you expand your business beyond your wildest dreams. But they make it way too hard for new members to join, damn it! These Gin who is it people let you join? <laughs> you certainly seem qualified. Clubs like this are incredibly exclusive. Existing members turn away new applicants, no matter how deserving they may be. Damn it! All I need is one lousy business card. Do you mean this- uh, do you mean this business card? What? How did you get that? That doesn't matter, does it? I'd be happy to give it to you. Are you sure? How much do you want for it? How about a trade for something other than money? Hmm? It's a long story. I see. Well then, uh, alright. Why don't I swap you this? Frankly, it's nowhere near as valuable as that business card, but it's your call. No matter. It's up to the owner to decide how much the card is worth. Wouldn't you agree? I say you got yourself a deal. Exchange the business card for the expensive looking watch. Okay. You're sure you're alright with this? Deal's a deal. But I appreciate your honesty. I owe you one. For a thing. Thanks. Hey, not to be blunt, but would you like to join my company? With a business card like this, I know you're definitely no ordinary man. Ooh, sorry. Wish I could, but unfortunately my hour's almost up. Your hour? What do you mean? Important business awaits! Goodbye! Hey! The time of the worms has ended. Cutting it a little close, don't you think? So, what did you wind up with? I'm going to win! I just know it! Shall we get a ruling from the pawn shop, then? I'll go first. Okay. Let's see. Well, would you look at this? This here's a genuine article! Er... Wait here a sec. I'll take a closer look in the back. Sorry, didn't mean to leave you hanging. So? How much is it worth? Five million if it's worth a yen. Five? You mean if it were new, right? Don't want to give this guy a heart attack or anything. Heh, <laughs> sorry about that. You don't see these too often. Got kind of excited myself. Can't help but wonder who this belonged to. Such a nice watch being treated this way. The thing's all scratched up. It wasn't you, was it? Don't I wish. Knock off a little for that and, well, if I were to buy this off you, I'd pay 980000 Eep! Hey, not bad. Okay, your turn. I still think I'm going to win. 980000 was it? Then I still have a chance. Here's mine. You got a watch too, huh? Oh-ho! Another damn fine watch. Just what have you boys been up to? Never you mind. Get on with the appraisal. They've been stealing. All right, keep your shirt on. Give me a sec. Phew, seeing two of these babies in a row. I can't help but break into a sweat. Well, if it was new, two million. And in this condition, I'd say 900 thou exactly. And that's backed by 40 years of experience. No. So I win. You failed the test. My hour's almost up. Akiyama, it's been a week. <laughs> he took his time. Honestly, I didn't expect you to do this well. Please. Loss is a loss. But I guess I did do pretty well, didn't I? Absolutely. When it comes down to it, the trick is... The trick is in fulfilling customers' needs over and over against practically miraculous odds. In fact, it's pretty much the ideal sales model. 
that quickly feeling out the locals' needs and supplying just the right goods, you wound up with a very valuable prize. You've got a pretty good knack for business, if you ask me. Is that what you were trying to test? One of the things, anyway. I don't get you, Akiyama-san. You always seem like you're just goofing around. Then, next thing I know, you zero in on something profound like that. You overestimate me. You overestimate me. Mostly, I just say whatever comes to mind. No, you really are special. I'm glad I was able to do as well as I did against an opponent like you. I almost feel like I could start over. I may be down, but I'm not out! I did all this with a single cigarette, and I can do more. There's that twinkle in your eye. Thank you, Akiyama-san. I knew I was drawn back to this part of town for a reason. It was to see you. Be on the lookout for me. I just know I'm going to make it big again one day. His story is not gonna end here, huh? Yep, counting on it. Thanks. See you. When I first met this character, I didn't think I would keep seeing him like the whole Akiyama story. Chiobara? Oh, he just got pushed by someone. Yes? Here. You forgot this. Oh. <laughs> Did you have to throw it? I can't think of anything I for- Huh? It's money! Yep. Five million to be exact. But why? I lent you five million, and you insisted on returning ten million. No interest, no collateral. Hasn't that sunk in yet? That money is yours. Yamasan. Just promise me one thing. My customers never come back for seconds. Either they fail the test and leave angry, or they pass the test and change their lives forever. One of the two. It would be a real shame if my apprentice wound up being my very first repeat customer. Right. I'll do my very best. Later. And so they went their separate ways, and never heard from either one again. Probably not true. Oh well, you highly dislike sparkling water. Especially fruit-flavored sparkling water. It doesn't taste like fruit, it's just sparkling water with just the ever so slight aftertaste of fruit. I absolutely despise sparkling water. <laughs> True, that stuff just tastes like if someone was cutting fruit next to you while you were drinking water. <laughs> oh. Dude, sparkling water is disgusting. <laughs> and then someone's gonna come into chat and be like, I like sparkling water. <laughs> I don't like it either. I don't like carbonated water. I don't like sparkling water. I like water by itself. Just water. <laughs> oh, that was the end of his story. Hopefully he didn't crash and burn. I guess we'll never know. My mother loves it and I will forever wonder why. <laughs> I don't know, just, you know, some people like it. Uh, like LaCroix, I think is uh, like a carbonated or sparkling water. I haven't tried it myself. But that's only because I know I'm not gonna like it. So I'm not gonna spend money on something I know I'm not gonna like. Why can't water just be like water, <laughs> you know? I guess some people just like it. But yeah, I I've heard that LaCroix and, and drinks like that are just like... Where is the flavor? It's just like, like a smell more than a taste. I guess. I don't know. I just like water. I tried to give sparkling water another chance and I couldn't do it. Oh, and then plain sparkling water? Or plain carbonated water? Is even worse. It's just... It's kind of like drinking soda that's gone... Well, not flat. But it's, it's like drinking soda without flavor, you know? I mean, that's literally what it is. Carbonated water is just soda without the soda part. You know, without the flavor, but... It's just not a good experience. It's- it's kind of like, um... Like at a restaurant, right? If they forget to put the actual soda into the machine and all you get is the- I'm just going in circles here, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like- it's just not good. It tastes wrong. That's- that's what I'm trying to get at. It tastes like something is wrong. <laughs> 
LaCroix has the flavor of your foot falling asleep. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, or TV static. <laughs> I read that as floor falling asleep. Yeah, don't you know that feeling when your floor stops, starts snoring? <laughs> <laughs> it's pop without the pop. Yeah, it's pop without the the, the pop. <laughs> Which means it's nothing. It's nothing. Kelvin, can you taste feelings? Isn't there um? Oh, I don't know what you would call it. I wouldn't say it's a condition. Uh, what is it called? It's like when you you start to like mix up colors with feelings and and flavors and smells. Like you can smell a color and stuff like that. I think it starts with an A or an S. Like not synthesis, synthesia, synth, synthesia, synesthesia. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Hold on, <laughs> synergy. Hold on, I, I never find out how to pronounce this. But yes, that's what I was thinking of. I just- I need to hear someone else say it real quick. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. Oh, stesia. Okay, synesthesia. 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 Enunciate your vocabulary. <laughs> Yes. Also, welcome, Zetetica. One time I tried LaCroix not knowing what it was, and when I found out it was sparkling water, I was so disappointed <laughs> and mildly betrayed. <laughs> stop what you're doing, whatever it is, stop. I'm just making sure you guys know that I can pronounce synesthesia. 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 <laughs> Am I a person yet? Do I sound like a person? <laughs> okay, uh... So next we're supposed to go to... Yeah, Sky Finance for story! There's also a sub-story I can do, which I'm not excited for, but apparently it ends well. Apparently. <laughs> you were this close to pronouncing it Shakira, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> yeah, you know that, that uh, phenomenon Shakira where you start <laughs> smelling colors? <laughs> Are you gonna be the next voice of Siri? I hope so, to be honest. You know, there's there's different names for like the different styles of like GPS robot voice, like text to speech voice. Like I don't know, like Microsoft Sam. They have names. I wonder if there is one already that has my my first name. Probably. It's it's a pretty common name. I would think that perhaps there already is one. And I'm curious to know if it actually sounds anything like me. When I do that voice, I don't know. There's probably one with Dio Brando's voice. <laughs> Maybe. More like a, a soundboard, probably, of Dio voice lines. That probably exists. I think I'm gonna do story. I'm gonna wait on the sub story a little longer. Oh, there's one with John Legend. <laughs> change how you address Siri so it'll respond to whatever name? Oh, like, instead of, hey Siri, you're like, hey Meatball, <laughs> and then it'll respond to you. Oh no! What happened? 
Oh no! Sato, Okari Nasai. Oh god. I didn't know something was gonna happen to her. Ah, Kido san, gomen nasai. Just a kai mono ni ittete. Ah, sumasen. Kate ni ojemas temas. Shajou, ima just a toritate no shigoto ni dekake chattete. あ、でもそんなに長くは関わらないと思うから待っててください。あ、あ、岡前なく。どうしたんですか？何かを忘れ物とか。いや、ちょっと秋山さんに確認し忘れたことがあって、携帯にかけたんですけど繋がらなくて
This one with John Legend. Homie tells me the weather every day. We're kind of homies. <laughs> Why a meatball? I don't know. It's just the first nonsense thing I could think of. They knew Hana was OP, so they pulled a gun on her. Why did she just look at him while he did that? She had a solid three seconds to move. Well, I mean, he had a gun. I think people's instincts, at least, you know, like in video games, <laughs> is to stop and not move. Probably in real life. Probably shouldn't move. Return of the Mac. Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? <laughs> Of course not. I love talking to washed up porn stars? I'm Mac, photographer by trade, observer of humanity at heart. And I mean all of humanity. Right. And sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a moneylender. I run a place called Sky Finance right over there. The name's Akiyama. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about before. Yeah. Sure thing, Slick. These scary looking dudes are falling down the street one after the other, like the world's least cheerful conga line. I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shop, too. Do you take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? These aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for the photograph to end all photographs. The perfect shot. Uh-huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's in a dang marathon. Akiyama-san. Have you ever seen a sight so incredible it made you realize something about the nature of the Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call those revelations. A flash of inspiration. A spark in the old noggin. A rush of idea juice flooding your mind. Idea juice. Yep, that's definitely never happened to me before. Yeah. Then maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot. I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, about those tough dudes you mentioned. Yeah. Hold up. The greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me try to find the perfect shot. I mean, sure, but I'd really rather just hear about... Then it's settled. Come on. It's hunting time. And we're hunting the biggest game of all. Art. <laughs> Art. Guess I'm just gonna have to put up with this nut job for now. Oh. Don't talk about him like that. Don't look now, Akiyama-san, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on that roof over there. She yelling? Something's up with that lady, and you're gonna snap a shot of whatever it is. All you've gotta do is whip out your phone and etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. My phone camera, huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. You can learn new techniques from revelations, gained by witnessing particularly inspiring events around the city. Press R3 when you see something of interest, switch to first person mode, use the right stick to control the camera. When look is displayed on the top right of the screen in first person mode, you will have a chance to have a revelation. First, Akiyama will take out his cell phone. Press the buttons displayed on the screen to take a picture of the decisive moment. If you successfully enter the correct buttons for all three pictures, you'll be given a multiple choice question. Select the correct answer to have a revelation and learn a new technique. So it's the same as last time. Just ask me if you're shooting in the dark and I can recite all that to you verbatim. Really, every word will be exactly the same. Alright. So we're gonna- are we gonna see all the characters do it? Don't tell me. But I hope I can see all the characters do it. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> the wasted. I hope you have to go to the hospital. And I hope it's expensive. Those leaps and bounds are something else. What's up with the suspenders? Uh, that, yeah. Oh. That's gotta be it. <laughs> Bonk. And he did. Ooh! Just another good kick. <laughs> All of his attacks are just really good kicks. I've seen the light. Hey, Mac. Is this the kind of mail you want? Man, there really are some perverted freaks in Kamurocho. But I was able to unlock a new technique from his movements. They were almost a work of art. It's a revelation. Revelation attained. So he doesn't have a blog, he just messages Mac. The essence of triple strike. Wow, we uh, Kiyama san. You really did it. I think I'm ready to let my ph photographic prodigy out in the wild. Guess that means old Mac is an empty nester again. There, there, big guy. I'll text you whenever I find a new shot, okay? It'll be like I never left. Anyway, I think you can tell me about those guys you were talking about before. Oh. oh, right. It totally slipped my mind. I saw them clamber down the stairs and out onto Tenkaichi Street, but I lost him right after that. Hard to see through all the buildings, you know? Tenkaichi Street. Got it. That's not much of a lead, but at least it's something. Thanks for the info, Mac. You got it, Akiyama-san. May your humble camera lead you to unforgettable discoveries. Alright! <laughs> that was a lot! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Mac and Bacchus should hang out. This is the game y'all love, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> also, I hate this. <laughs> I need to find Kido-chan in our client registry, but I have no idea where that Midorikawa guy went. Better start asking him. Well? Oh, another one from Mac. The perfect shot newsletter. Looking for that perfect shot? And I have got and have I got the newsletter for you? This week brings two beauties. First up, we have a kidnapper who's taken to the rooftops. You can also see a sexy detective facing off against the kidnapper in question. Definitely a sight to see. And for number two, a married couple wages a bitter war in Little Asia that would shock a kung fu Asian action star. I just can't get enough. Alright. Flame says, I have no regrets. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, there's there's so much to do. Okay, so we have a sub-story that I've been postponing. Um, we have... Two revelations. I guess we can go to the revelations since we just learned about them. So one of them is... On the rooftop somewhere. It doesn't say where. So I guess let's just go up there and look around. We can actually go up. Uh, I have to look for it. Because there's an up arrow there, but I'm pretty sure that's just for. Oh no! I can get to the roofs from there. Yeah. I just have to go up higher than the uh, sky finance. Right. Somewhere around. I haven't been up here at night yet, I don't think. We did see a sub-story in Kiwami, too. Oh? 
Oh, there's someone to talk to down there. Inky want me too. Where there's just a bunch of guys wearing diapers. <laughs> so this game series is not typical, I would say. Hey, Sticky Eggs, welcome. Directionally challenged man. So you mean lost? Huh? Hold on. I was just walking around the movie theater in Theater Square, but now I'm near Tenkaichi Street. This map makes no sense. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? Ugh. I'm gonna go back to the rooftop, see if I can figure it out up there. Oh, this is just telling me about maps. Okay. So if this is Tenkaichi Street, then Theater Square is over there. But it's not. Ugh. Stupid maps. Guess it's time for another adventure. We got some free points. That's always good. For all I know, this next revelation is like across town. Let me check it again. I think it only gave a location for the second one. Yeah. So one is in Little Asia, the other one, it, it won't tell me. But I don't think uh, there's too much to explore. Like, this is all interconnected. Uh, if it's not in this area, I just have to go down there. That part of the map and I can look. But I do want to do this first before I keep going with the story, I suppose. Here's this pretty area again. I just- I love seeing this. Um, and we started down there, so if it's not here, then let me go down a little bit and go further up north. So it's either over here or across the map. Go in here. Fill the roof. Oh, I guess so. I haven't been here. This is a pretty cool little thing they did for this game. Oh. Oh no, that's how we get over. Oh, so he's up here. I don't feel like doing the training right now. Uh, I think that's it. There's like a little bit over here, but that's it. Okay, so they must be in that lower section. The right. Okay, let's go down. Go over there. That's closer to Little Asia anyway, so we'll just be near both the revelations at once. Yeah, so that was in the bottom right corner. Just keeps piling on things to do, you know? <laughs> I want to see Saijima. I don't think that'll happen today. Maybe by next week we'll get to Saijima? I honestly don't know. check on his health every now and then in case I knew me to stop at a restaurant and feed him but he's fine for now I don't think I've had to heal for a while actually a never-ending to-do list yep but that's what Yakuza games are <laughs> just piles and piles of things to do which is often why I skip over some stuff but I'm trying to with these older games to do more things before I finish them. But I am not concerned about 100% completion. Now, oh, I think I can go up from here. Or right here. Yeah. So they must be over here, unless I, I missed them. But I'm pretty sure I looked all around the other area. Well, there's this. I don't know if I've been up here actually yet. I've only been to the rooftops in the other section, I think. Go this way. Looking for a kidnapper? Oh, yeah, here it is. Found it. That's oh, not counting. Do I have to be further? Maybe like right here. Only crazy people 100% these games. 
unless you actually like Mahjong. I, I follow a few Yaksa fans on Twitter that have platinumed either several of the games or like all the games. Maybe it's just like one or two people that have done like all the games. Uh, but I, I can't imagine doing that myself. I would definitely need a guide. I'm sure they do use a guide, especially for like the, the mini games like Mahjong. Uh, but yeah, like I feel like that would take me so long to do just because I'm not used to platinuming games at all. I, I've really never been concerned about 100% completion of stuff. I just, I play it for a good time, I do as much as I can, and I move on. No, they're not crazy. They're just very patient. There's a cool glitch on this game that'll save you a lot of time. Hold the PlayStation button down, go to power, and then press turn off PS4! <laughs> that would be quite a time saver, Brandon. But then we would just be sitting here in darkness. <laughs> well, Brandon, you're so funny. Have you ever considered stand-up? It wouldn't be fair for everyone else. Mahjong can actually bite me. I don't even like seeing that word when I boot up <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> Are you talking about Moji? <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you have flashbacks to Majok. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, R3, please. Where does it want me to be? Down here? I don't think so. I think I should be closer. Yeah, I can't even see them from down here. have to be like right next to them it, it zoomed in on her but it didn't say look there we go they are too close I want to be be there yeah that's what I thought hey Dino <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> for the raid. <laughs> we are witnessing a, a revelation right now. A kidnapping. But thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do arrive at the weirdest times. Very weird times. Very weird times that we are having. Why are all the revelations like this so far, huh? It wasn't like this in uh, Yakuza 3. a lot of this so far, I'm noticing. The kid. Uh, probably the third one. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all arrived at a weird time. Didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, so Akiyama's revelations are just kinda like this. We get new moves, and that's why I'm doing this. Hey, Mac. I just saw an intense scene. A lady detective chased down a man who kidnapped a boy. The kidnapper tried to get a cheap peek under the detective's skirt, but the boy took advantage of the situation and ran him where it counts. <laughs> Essence of- <laughs> Essence of Lloyd Reefy. Okay. Holy god. Today has just been full of, like, stuff like this. The, today's stream has just been like this for the past hour and a half. Almost sounds sophisticated. Almost. But anyway, welcome. Welcome, Dinos. Welcome, O'Brelli. Welcome, all. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Thank you for joining me. Ooh. 
Lil Inosuke? You'll be surprised to hear I wasn't playing Pokemon or Smash tonight. Well, I played a bit of an older Pokemon game earlier on the night. Earlier in the night. It's par for the course at this point. <laughs> what did you stream then? Aside from the older Pokemon game. You almost you almost got me! You said no Pokemon, you almost got me. You did play Pokemon though. Oh, he headbutted him like a Nosuke. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Now I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, where was the next one? That was in... Little Asia. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be... I think around here is usually good. This is the champion district. Yeah. Let me just head that way. Oh, I was playing Mario Sunshine and Pokemon Coliseum earlier. Oh, Coliseum! Was that the one on the 64? No, that was Stadium, never mind. What console was the uh, Coliseum on? I guess let's see if I can... Ooh, the heat action! Does it show up here? No, it's Revelation. So it's gonna be here. Just like, uh, Y3. Yeah. Okay, so this one is triangle while running towards three or more enemies. This one is triangle as an unarmed enemy attacks you from behind. Oh, I see. He kicks backwards. Okay. Oh, we need heat first, though. Oh, it's on the GameCube. I didn't- I didn't have a GameCube. I borrowed a GameCube at some point growing up, uh, from somebody. I had to give it back. So I didn't play a ton of GameCube games. And yeah, that went by too quickly. There's only two guys. Oh, you played Smash tonight, on? Pigman didn't invent headbutting, Kelvin. We can still draw similarities between things that we like. Oh, oh, they're talking about the- the couple. Have you heard about this married couple around here that are experts at kung fu? I wonder what their fights are like. I'm sure their fights are like a kung fu movie. I should have a look. I may be able to have a revelation. Okay... And that's supposed to be... around here. It's not Club Asia, it's Little Asia. Pretty sure it's around here, but... I don't know anymore. So Pokemon Coliseum and Mario Sunshine. I think I did play Sunshine. I don't think I played it all the way through. I've definitely seen playthroughs though. I think I've seen Grumps play Sunshine. Very good Mario game. I think one of the one of the better ones. Also, apparently Mario Galaxy is really, really good. I never got to play that one myself though. Just gonna run around looking. No, I don't think this counts over here. I'm pretty sure it's to the left somewhere. Yeah. And then after this revelation, there is another soap story I can do. And with the way that today has been going <laughs> with this game, I'm feeling I might as well just get it out of the way. <laughs> I've been postponing it because it's just... The last time that I worked on that sub-story was just like, big yikes, but I do want to finish it, and that way I can, uh, 
criticize it freely <laughs> if I experience it. So we'll see. Hub squat. <laughs> Cube. <laughs> You never played Galaxy? No, I never got to. I don't even know what console it was on. I'm assuming, uh, maybe the Wii? But yeah, I have seen playthroughs of it. Uh, it's one of Rubo's favorites, actually. Rubo has played Galaxy. But I don't think I've played a lot of Mario games in general. Not really on purpose. It's just like I never got them. But I have played a little bit of Sunshine. I remember playing it. Probably at other people's houses. Hey there, pal. I think you could move out of my way. Doesn't look like he has any interest in letting me through. Alright, so that definitely is little Asia there. Uh, which means that it has to be around here. I'm just gonna keep circling this building until I see something. That's another entrance. I can talk to all of them and ask. Ah, uh, it's the same thing. it soon. I'll probably just look up where it is exactly. I guess it, it could be that it's not actually like uh, against these buildings here. Also, I definitely knew where it was, but that doesn't mean I'm able to find the revelation. Okay, let me circle one more time. Now, you know, this this looks like something. <laughs> something looks a little amiss here. What is this? What? You need something from me, man? What are you doing here? That's what I want to know. Oh, well, I'm selling stuff out of this car. This town's gotten pretty crazy lately, don't you think? So, I'm taking my shop on the move. On the move? Do you take it to other cities, then? Nah, I could never leave Camarocho. Try to find me around town when you've got a sec. When you do, I'll welcome you and your business with open arms. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I have a car. Attached to a chain, attached to a crane. Alright. It's somewhere near these guys. Well, this is just... Oh, them? I was literally right here. I have to be- I have to be right here. Oh, okay. There it is! She's trying to kill him. <laughs> oh my god. shoes <laughs> with the sneakers <laughs> they're attacking the guard I think this one Seeker trophy. Demon wife. Hey Mac, I just saw something totally amazing. A cheating husband and his wife who found him out. I thought they were just gonna argue, but what I got was a super high-speed kung fu battle. The husband lost, but I learned not to relax even if you're guarding. Revelation attained. The essence of comebacks. 
Alright, so that's all the revelations I can do for now. Yeah, there's two there and that's it. Okay. Now we can do the sub-story, I suppose. I actually really like this scene. It's right out of a Jackie Chan film. Big trouble in Little Kamurocho. Yes, I can get those kicks. Oh, you got smashed yesterday, Om? Sorry, I missed some messages. I love Super Mario Sunshine and Galaxy. Yeah. Are those like your two favorites? I think Odyssey was a lot of fun too. I played a little bit of that one. Yes, Kung Fu Queen! It's kind of wholesome that Akiyama has a pen pal. <laughs> yeah, because with Kiryu it was a... Uh, it was a blog that he ran and then he just talked to Mac about it, but with Akiyama he directly messages Mac and talks to him about the, uh, the revelations and that's it. Let's go back this way. I'm so used to people hating on Sunshine, so I got excited. I I don't really know why people hate on it. To me, it's always been like a like a fond memory of it. It just it's so fun. I don't understand. And like the aesthetics of it too are like so ingrained in my mind, even though I didn't even finish the whole game myself. Like the oh I forget what they're called, but the like the people who live on the island. And all of the monsters and creatures. Of course, some of those are repeated in other Mario games, but you know what I mean. Okay, let me save real quick. I guess let me see if I need to put anything away first. Yeah, we can put that away. I should really sell these soon. <laughs> I just keep needing to do that off stream and I keep forgetting. going to take a short little break. Uh, I'll be back within about five minutes. And when I get back, we're gonna do this sub story <laughs> over there for Hana. But yeah, so I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. How well I have returned. Let me catch up with y'all. Oh, you preferred Galaxy to Odyssey? I wouldn't be able to compare them because I, I haven't played galaxy. Myself. They both seem like fun games to me though. Odyssey's collectibles were way too numerous. Felt trivial to get after a while. Hmm. Only thing I can find to complain about in Sunshine is how some shines are hidden in a way no sane person would ever guess, but that's pretty par for 3D platformers. I have a cousin named Odyssey. That's about the extent of my opinion on that game. <laughs> I haven't played it. It's... it's fun. I had a good time playing it. There's cute pigeons in Odyssey. That is a really cool name though. Do people call them Odie for short? Now they call her Odie sometimes. Like the dog from Garfield. <laughs> Odyssey is such an awesome name, though. Why would you shorten it? <laughs> okay. So, let's get this over with. Today has been pretty cursed already, so let's just let's just get all the cursed stuff out of the way. Hello, Akiyama-san. Yo, I thought I'd drop in and check on the club. How are things? Remarkably well, given the state of the economy. Really? That's good to hear. But... But what? Well, it's Mickey. What about her? Maybe you'd better ask her yourself. She's in today. Alright. Have her stop by the dressing room. At least I think this is what it- what I think it is. 
sir. The manager said something was up. Everything okay? Oh, I don't know. What is it? You can tell me. You probably didn't know this, but up until recently I had a regular named Taniguchi. Taniguchi? That's right. He was kind of a nerdy creep, but he wound up spending a lot of money on me. Five million yen. Oh, this- okay, this is something else. So you know about him? No, not really. Anyway, what about this Taniguchi guy? Well, he suddenly stopped coming to the club. He never struck me as particularly wealthy, so I just figured he finally ran out of money. And now that Taniguchi's not coming around anymore, you're too devastated to concentrate on work, is that it? Absolutely not! I wouldn't shed any tears over one or two fewer nerdy types in here, trust me! So what is it? I just saw that dorky Taniguchi walking around looking like he owns the place. It's like he's had a major makeover. And what's worse, he had another hostess on his arm. He didn't run out of money after all. He changed his image, made himself all cool, and then dropped me for some other girl. Surely losing one customer doesn't bother you this much. It's a matter of pride. It's as though somebody told me I was a good match for only the nerdiest customers. I've lost all faith in myself. Now that I think about it, a lot of my customers are kind of weird. That's not true. Fewer and fewer customers ask for me by name. Maybe it's time I leave this job behind. I have an idea. Why don't I give you a refresher course in hostessing? Help you boost your confidence. A refresher course? Sure. After all, I'm the one who got you into this mess. Huh? Uh, never mind. Anyway, hostesses need to make their customers fall for the heart. You know that, right? Right. From what I've seen, you have no problem entertaining customers in the club. Then, what am I missing? Are you getting dates after work? No, not really. There you go. What you need are dates. Consider them insurance, your backup plan. You think so? You bet. Dates are different. It's just you and your customer, one on one. How a hostess acts and the impression she makes at one of these special events have a big effect on her customer. I see. How about I give you some tips on how to make a customer fall head over heels for you? Yes, please. Excellent. Come with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. Let me show you to your seats. The song. Right this way, please. First, let's go over the basics of how to interact with a customer on a date. I'm listening. I'm very distracted by the song. How do you interact with a customer on a date? <laughs> you don't even know? Act exactly like you do at the club. They're going hard on the song! Beauty went lower. Be more guarded. Be more open. He is not singing it. Zero out of ten. <laughs> you should be more open and honest with the customer when you're on a date with him. Open and honest? That's right. Why do you think guys ask hostesses out on dates anyway? I'd say they want to get to know us better. Exactly. They want to get closer to you so they can stand out among all your other clients. There goes Miss Peach. I guess let's take a gander. At who's causing a ruckus. Oh, de Jesus. <laughs> there she goes. She's messed up her house a little bit, it seems. There are her eggs. Can you- can you find those, Peach? Can you find your eggs? <laughs> They're right there! You see them? <laughs> Sometimes she- she freaks out like that, uh, if she can't get to her eggs and she wants me to help her, but I think she can get back to them. I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's so floofy. Alright, good night, Miss Peach. That's why you should be a little more open on a date than you are at the club. Okay. He'll think he's the only one who gets to see who you really are, which, he'll figure, makes him somebody pretty special. I get it now. Basically, interacting with the customer differently will make him see your date as more than just business. 
It'll be something personal, an experience for him and him alone. Right. I think I chose the right answer there. So what'll it be? Let's see. Okay, I'll have... Not so fast. There's a little trick when it comes to ordering, too. There is? Of course. When it comes time to order, ask for your favorite dish. Ask for his favorite dish. Uh... Like, I'm thinking... This could go one of two ways, right? Obviously, there's only two answers, but for your favorite dish, that would be the customer getting to know the hostess better, getting to know what what she wants, what she likes. And then asking for this is more like catering to his taste and like, oh, you like that too? Ha ha ha. And then she's just pretending <laughs> to like what what he likes. Ask for your favorite dish, ask for his favorite dish. I guess this one? When you go out to eat on a date, it's important to order your date's favorite Ooh. dish. Really? When you see him at the club, get him to tell you his favorite in advance. Make sure you remember what it is. Then, when you're on your date, try to order it in a very matter-of-fact way. Oh, your favorite is such and such, isn't it? Oh, it's more so her remembering what he likes. That will make him think, gee, Mickey bothered to remember my favorite, and then he'll feel like you two have bonded. Okay. But the real key here is to add, I like that too, while you order. Why is that? Well, for one thing, when your date says she likes the same food you do, it makes you happy. It also means you have similar interests. Oh, I get it. But what if his favorite happens to be something I absolutely hate? I can be a very picky person. You're a professional. Just grin and bear it. Aw, oh, do I have to? I guess I'll try. Here you go. This looks amazing. Bon appetit. Not so fast. <laughs> There's another technique that comes into play when eating your meal. Is there really? Tell me about it. The thing to remember when eating is... Maintain your image as a hostess. Create a domestic atmosphere. Your image as a hostess, domestic atmosphere. Huh? Is this like she acts more comfortable around him? So it just feels like a date and then this one is more so like... <sighs> Maybe this one? Because they're supposed to be more comfortable around each other? When dining with a date, you have to maintain proper etiquette while, at the same time, creating a domestic atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Domestic? Really? That's right. A hostess is typically seen as the polar opposite of a domestic type. So by projecting this homey aura, <laughs> you accentuate the gap between the two lifestyles. A hostess who might seem a little distant at the club comes across on a date as friendlier, more accessible. It's like you said before, you have to project a sense of intimacy. Exactly. So how do I do that? Let's see. If the dish uses seasonal ingredients, for example, point that out to your date. Or if a meal is nicely presented, say you'd like to try making it yourself one day. Play up the fact that you can cook. You'd be hard-pressed to find a guy who doesn't love that. Hmm. Anything else? When your date says something ta something is tasty, or what you- or what have you, say something along the lines of, Oh, I'll keep that in mind. It's almost like saying, I'll make that for you sometime, right? Yep. It's just the promise of your cooking, though. You don't actually have to go through with it. You only need to hint at the possibility. <laughs> right, right. This has been very educational. Honestly, those side quests make the whole business seem disgusting to me. It's just people manipulating money out of others' hand. I mean, it... it I guess you could see it that way. There are definitely like people I think in that industry that are more manipulative and more um, uncaring, I guess. But I think it really depends on... I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really know much about the real life <laughs> hostess slash host industry. Um, I probably would not go to one myself. Uh, I think the games also kind of just like make it a little nicer. I mean, I don't know what the reality is, that's the thing. 
nightlife industry in a nutshell. I mean, yeah, these these places are typically not in, in great areas. I mean, we're in Kamarocho, which is based on Kabukicho, which is not a good area, so... <laughs> That's just how it is, I guess. Thanks for a great meal, chef. We'll take the bill now. Coming right up. But yeah, like, everything they just talked about as well is, like, manipulation, like what you said, yeah, because it's someone pretending to to like what you like and stuff like that. But... Now, there's one more thing I'd like you to remember when it comes to paying the bill. Okay. The trick about paying the bill is... Take out your wallet like you're going to pay... Go Dutch. Huh. Probably this one. When dinner's over and the bill arrives, always take out your wallet and act like you're going to pay. You want me to put on an act? That's right. You're just pretending. Seeing you prepared to pay like that transforms the evening from a customer and hostess interaction to a much more private, intimate meal. Your date will feel an even closer bond between the two of you. Plus, he'll be impressed by your manners. I see. Your date will insist you don't have to pay, of course, at which point you thank him and put your wallet away. <laughs> it's just a show. This way you're both satisfied and he keeps his pride intact. Got it. Dates provide another setting for building a relationship formed at the club. Make the most of the situation of meeting outside the club and you can project a sense of intimacy you can't create at work. Your customer will feel close to you and he'll come to like you more and more. This has been all so helpful. I'll give it all a try then. So much manipulation, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't want to just like take everything in, in Yakuza games at face value. I try to take everything with a grain of salt, you know. Sometimes I get a little salty <laughs> about some things. Uh, but I would not want to base knowledge of Japan and Japanese culture or things that exist in Japan on a video game. You know what I mean? It, it provides like kind of like a, a surface level maybe portrayal of certain things, but research and I guess first-hand experience would be more so <laughs> what you would need to actually understand. But like I said, I would not go to one of these establishments myself. <laughs> it's interesting to learn about though. I've got my confidence back thanks to you. I'm happy to hear that. I think I'll send that Taniguchi a message. What, right now? Uh-huh. I've got to get that newly hatched hunk away from that other hostess. Ah, well, I won't try to stop you. She's just pulling out her phone right now. <laughs> Vicky, it's been so long. Oh, he's dressing the way he used to. Didn't you get a huge makeover? You heard about that? I guess Akiyama-san must have told you, huh? Akiyama-san? No, no. Nikki saw you walking around with your new look, and another hostess. Oh, right. Well, I did have more girls coming after me once I changed my image, but we never lasted longer than a date or two. I felt like I wasn't myself, like I was living a lie. I guess even the best makeover in the world is really only skin deep. I eventually came to accept that this is the best style for me after all. <laughs> That's when I got your message, Mickey. And now, here I am. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You must have really missed me. But I won't stray again. See you at the club. <laughs> She's like, god damn it. <laughs> also, it's a game. A lot of things are going to be dramatized. Yeah, yeah. Oh! I think we can get the other heat action now. Yeah, we can get wall smash. So now we have everything available. Okay, so pole and wall, I can probably do more often than this. Okay. Now that wasn't the sub story I was talking about. Uh, let me go back there. It actually doesn't show up on the map. That was the other sub story, but I think it's still at that same place. Hey, Will, welcome back. Hi, I'm back. I got distracted. That's okay. No worries. Those clubs are pretty messed up in real life. From what I've seen, which has just been like YouTube <laughs> documentaries, yeah, like on both ends for for customers and for the actual employees. So, at 
police hire a new girl? That's what I heard, but I don't know if it's true. They did, they did. Her name's Lily. Oh no, they're talking about Lily, okay. She's a bit older than the other girls, but I think that's actually a plus. Really? Is she that good? Yeah, she's cute and sexy at the same time. Just seeing her drives me crazy. Let's get in there and request her. They say that, but when I played the minigame, no one requested her. I can't even go in there. I just messed it up forever. Were you chugging all the Dr. Pepper, Will? <laughs> Was that it? gonna be here but I'm not really too concerned about finishing it that's okay she picked up the slack for you <laughs> from me messing up the minigame oh surprisingly not I just have a tendency to get restless and want to pace back and forth listening to music that's understandable yeah no worries at all I am surprised that you were not chugging the Dr. Pepper. Just, like, going into the kitchen. Just crawling into the kitchen. Stealing all the soda. And taking it back to your room to chug it. Okay, so next is... I should ask the people around here for info. Okay. So that was... Yeah, we're actually going that way anyway. Maybe you have to go back to Sky Finance. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. It's not really a big deal to me. I might look it up if I uh, get to like the end of Akiyama's story and I want to finish it up, but... If I don't do it today, it's not it's not too big of a deal to me. Oh! I was trying to talk to someone right next to you! Oh, if I chugged it, I wouldn't have any more for weeks. That's true! You gotta ration it. I'm just savoring it. Yeah, you gotta ration it out for yourself. I actually shouldn't have used my hand in that. Okay. Is this a pole? It was something! That might have been the wall one. I'm so, so sorry! Okay. Yeah, I think it's gonna be people around here that I need to talk to. Hey, you got a second? Sure. How can I help you? Did you see a group of Yakuza come by here maybe two or three hours ago? Yakuza? You know, you're in Kamurocho, right? <laughs> that shouldn't be such a surprise. Oh, and they were probably dragging someone behind them. Hmm. There was something going on over here earlier. I could hear the shouting from all the way over on Nakamichi Street. Nakamichi? So you didn't see anything then? Oh, heavens no! If I had, I certainly wouldn't be standing here now like nothing happened. I usually turn heel and run when I see fights breaking out. Huh. Okay then. Thanks anyway. More people here. This moneylender's been in one mess after another. I think it's called Sky Finance. Yeah, I heard about that murder from a bit ago. Hmm. Maybe it was money problems? Just shows you shouldn't take out a loan from this kind of place. Yeah, I think the problem is more with murder than their ability to finance a loan. Okay, that wasn't it. Sky Finance got caught up in some trouble, but honestly, I'm not surprised. That Akiyama's a real strange guy. You know that Akiyama guy in Nikki? Ah, Nikki? Of course I do. Ain't no one in the Kamarocho underworld who hasn't heard of him. But I'd keep my distance if I were you. Yeah? I heard some Yakuza group busted into his place, though. The rich never gotta fight their own battles. It's just stupid to start messing with them. Believe me, you don't want to ruffle Akiyama's feathers. His bird feathers? I would never do anything stupid like that. Okay, so they don't know what's going on. Those two. He 
said he was on Nakamichi Street, but he didn't see anything there. Akiyama is a bird confirmed. If it, it, oh, I would if it weren't for the fact that I can't drive. My mother's the one who gets groceries and stuff. With her new diet, things like soda are becoming a less frequent thing. Uh-oh. I need to learn to drive, but I don't trust myself with a car. It definitely opens up uh, more opportunities for yourself. Like, you're able to, to go out and get yourself Dr. Pepper if you so choose. If you wish to. Um, but I also can definitely understand the fear of, uh, of driving. I, I hate driving. I dread it myself. He's standing right in front of me. Yeah, they're talking trash like he's not right there. He do them kicks like a rooster. If I told you, Akiyama was designed around Suzuku and Phoenix of the East. Oh, the vermilion bird. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's why I suggested a phoenix for Pokemon. Okay, so he actually is designed around that. Yeah, driving sucks. Especially depending on where you live, too, because some areas are, like, more dangerous for drivers because people are driving stupid. <laughs> Okay, what about these oils? Excuse me, do you have a moment? What's up? Have you seen a group of Yakuza around here? They probably had someone who looked all beat up with them. Oh yeah, I saw them. They were dragging some guy through town. They were really scary. They kept telling him to walk faster. See where they went? They went up the street. You know, toward the theater. They really stood out. I bet a lot of other people saw them too. That right. Okay, thanks. Oh, you hate driving on the freeway? I avoid it at all costs. I would rather have to leave early to avoid the freeway than to leave on time and drive on the freeway. I think the last time I actually drove on the freeway was when I was learning to drive. <laughs> I really hate it. And I still get to where I need to go on time. I just make time for it. Dude, yes. I always leave early just to avoid freeways. I I mean, I don't see the point, you know? It's faster, but it's also more stressful and scary and dangerous. It's like, I'd rather just go on a normal street that has lights. And stop every now and then at red lights. And that's, that's me. <laughs> Arizona, or at least my area of Arizona, has some terrible drivers. I was driving home today, and there was a car holding up traffic, and when I passed it, there was no one in the car? <laughs> they just left their car? Maybe it broke down. I feel like I'm one second from dying every time you go on the, on the freeway. Oh, Akiyama's backstory is Phoenix-like, too. That's true. Used to be a banker, fell into the street, money rained down the sky, and he is now more magnificent than ever. That's true. It was just a car stopping in the middle of the crossway. Where the hell was the driver? I'm assuming it broke down and they had to abandon it or something. No one here seems to understand how crosswalks at intersections work. I've nearly gotten run over crossing the crosswalk at least twice now. God. I'm sorry, well, yeah, there's just, I don't, I don't know. People just don't pay attention to others. Like, their, their main goal is just to get where they're going as fast as humanly possible. And they don't think about, oh, maybe I should uh, look both ways. <laughs> Make sure there's not a person in front of me <laughs> before I go. I prefer driving back roads with no one on them because it's such a chill drive even though it takes longer. Yeah, I enjoy driving when there's barely or no people around. I actually like it. It's fun. It's nice. 
But if it's just like bumper to bumper or there's just cars around me constantly, it stresses me out. Especially if people are acting stupid and like cutting people off and stuff. That's not fun. I am gonna say, Calvin, when I read your message at first in my head, I thought you said I prefer driving backwards. <laughs> and I was like, and then I saw the chill drive part and I was like, backwards is chill? What are you talking about? <laughs> I can't even imagine California traffic, but yeah, I leave early specifically to avoid traffic and I use back roads. Yeah. I willingly take a longer route to avoid stupid drivers and accidents. Yeah, yeah, freeways are always like full of accidents too, so it doesn't necessarily take you there faster. Sometimes it takes longer because of traffic. There's so many people here and only like four of them know how to drive <laughs> out of like thousands of people. <laughs> That's basically how it is here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I thought you said backwards too. <laughs> oh, you live in the city. Public transport it is. Which comes with its own negative aspects, but at least you're not in the driver's seat. <laughs> Dealing with the the other drivers firsthand, but you know it's still not a good time. I'm sure. From from the few from the times I have had to take public transportation, which I more so had to do in high school, beginning of high school, uh, it's it's not great. It's not great. Getting from one place to the other is just not fun <laughs> most of the time. Transportation is not really that fun, mostly because of other people. You read it as backwards too? Okay, I'm glad I'm not alone. Pretty much everyone in chat read it <laughs> the way that I read it. How many times have all of you parallel parked? Be honest. Definitely more than once. Uh... <laughs> like Ruba said, not since my driving test. But I think I did have to do it after my driver's test. But definitely, like, only a handful of times. Um, it's just, like, where we live has never really necessitated it. So, like, I, I still remember how to do it. I actually was taught a, a pretty good technique, I guess, of how to parallel park when I was learning how to drive. Um, when I was taking classes. And I, I still remember it, but I have not used that knowledge in quite some time. So I think I would have some trouble. If, if I... Here, I'll put it this way. If I'm trying to park somewhere and my choice is parallel park to be right next to the building or park like a, a, like a, a 15 minute walk down the street where it's not parallel parking, I'm going to park 15 minutes down the street. <laughs> not because I don't think I'm capable of doing it, but I would rather not. <laughs> I'd just rather not deal with it. Because leaving the spot would also stress me out, and I'd be worried about someone blocking me in and then I can't get out. You know, there's just more... more worries. I like to avoid things that stress me out. <laughs> if I can. Honestly, I never need to do it. Yeah, there, there's usually other options, you know. Om says zero. Yeah, I wonder what the, like, the driving requirements are in different places, like the U.S. compared to Canada or other countries. And I think it's, I mean, it's even different between states, because each state has its own driving, driving laws. Every driver around here does it daily. The roads are too small otherwise. All right, Alm say, said uh, that he takes public transportation, so you wouldn't need to know how to parallel park if that's how you, you get around. Oh, Calvin, three times. It's either learn to drive, or get a lift. <laughs> hey, Noroku, welcome! Oh, most days of the week, so you're a parallel parking master, I take it. Parallel is pretty common for city, li city living, though, isn't it? Hey, Macho, welcome! I'm a parallel parking god! Also, hi! Parallel parking is the rule here, really? I would not survive there. <laughs> it would take me a while to grow accustomed to that. A wild matcha has parallel parked into the chat! <laughs> My Texas friend, to me, your parallel parking is unparalleled! I will say, if you learn how to drive in California, you can handle driving anywhere. 
<laughs> I'm sure. I have never had a drive in California. I I left there before I, I got old enough to learn how to drive. And uh, the only driving I have ever done, yeah, even like learning how to drive growing up was in Texas. In the Yeehaw State. Especially in a car-centric city such as mine. Yeah, parallel parking is way more common, I feel like, in, in cities and... Yeah, I guess places with lots of cars. Because there's just not a lot of, a uh, Not a lot of room. Oh, you don't agree. I learned to drive in California, and the first time I had to drive in snow, I felt like I was constantly about to die. <laughs> oh, that's true. So I guess, like... I mean, the area of California I'm most familiar with is Southern California, and it, it doesn't really snow there. Uh, I can't say anything for northern areas of California. Um, but yeah, I guess weather would be one thing that maybe it wouldn't prepare you for, because at least Southern California is... is doesn't really deal with a lot <laughs> as far as weather. You don't get tornadoes, you don't get... <laughs> you don't get snow, you don't get ice. I'm sure it gets icy sometimes, but... It got super foggy a week and a half ago. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you had to deal with fog. <laughs> Just rent some snow to drive in. Driving in snow and ice is, is terrifying. Yeah. I've only had to drive in icy weather a few times. I, I try to avoid it as much as I can. I mean, sometimes you just have to. To... to do stuff in your life, but I did drive in hail one time, uh, and I basically couldn't see. I had to like slow down to a crawl because I could not see in front of me, and I didn't want to hit anything. <laughs> it was awful. It was just like pouring rain and hail, but like very small hail. My car didn't get damaged, but it was eh, not a fun time. But yeah, we get hail here, semi semi often, I guess. Especially in particular times of the year. I think driving a forklift in my teens and early 20s helped with pivot points and navigating small spaces. Huh. We don't get snow, we get a thin layer of frost sometimes when it's cold. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's kind of the same here. We, we mostly get ice, which I think is scarier than snow. Um... Although I guess when, when it's really heavy, heavy snow, like, feet of snow, foot, foots of snow, <laughs> it, this is not going to be a good time to drive in. Never really experienced that. We, we don't really get a lot of snow. We get mostly ice, like I said. We're actually supposed to be getting ice tomorrow. And I'm hoping, uh, hoping it's not too bad. I think Rubo's talking about it lower in the chat. To Southern Californians, anything that's not clear weather is rain. <laughs> yeah, see, like, it's mostly sunny there, or it's just kind of raining, or it's a little chilly. Southern California weather is, is very nice overall. Especially compared to Texas. I had to drive in the fog last week, and then tomorrow it's about to be icy. Yeah, icy snowy, so, like, rip in pieces me. And it was sunny yesterday, Texas weather. Yeah, yeah, and then our weather can just, like, flip. Flip at the drop of a hat. Apparently it snows in Arizona, but I've never seen any more... Oh, I've never seen any hail. And maybe some frost. Yeah, it snowed here before, but it hasn't had... It hasn't been a big snow for years. I think about six years ago we had a lot of snow. Enough to make snowmen and, and go down hills in a sled. And that's it. <laughs> that was just a few years ago, and then nothing really since then. We have mandatory driving classes that last a whole year around here, so everyone gets tested on snow and dry weather. <laughs> everyone drives like an idiot anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I actually don't know what I want to do here. So I still need to ask for information. Uh, oh, I forget what those girls told me. You know, I, I read out what they said, and then we started talking about weather, and I started running around aimlessly, 
like I tend to do when I talk to you guys <laughs> for a little bit. That guy's gonna chase me. Oh god dang it. I should have ran behind him. I've learned that running behind them actually you can you can pretty much avoid them. I'm gonna go back and see if I can ask them again what they said. It still says to talk to people to find out what happened, so. I think I'm supposed to go somewhere they talked about and then. And then, uh, talk to someone else. We got a blade. Oops. Snows in Flagstaff, but we don't really leave Phoenix, so that kind of affects my likelihood of experiencing snow. <laughs> Highly unlikely. Yeah, yeah. Like, we would also have to go to another place probably to experience uh, heaps of snow, which I would like to someday. I think when I was little, we went to Colorado and I was like buried in the snow because <laughs> I was a child. Um, but maybe it actually wasn't that much, it just seemed like a ton to me, because I was so small. In Arizona, it usually happens north of Phoenix. Phoenix is so sprawled out that it altered the climate and made it hotter. Oh my god. That's true though. Phoenix is big. The only time I saw snow is when I lived in Vegas. <laughs> in the desert! <laughs> It snows in Vegas, huh? I would not have thought of that. Okay, I'm gonna talk to these coils. Oh, it was a theater. Okay, okay. That's why I started running in this direction, but then I forgot what I was doing. The only time I've seen snow in real life was Big Bear Lake in California. And when I was in El Paso, Texas, which doesn't exist. <laughs> Just kidding. I dozed off and came back to weather talk. Nice. <laughs> Brain cell? Oh, you've never seen snow ever. <laughs> El Paso exists, you heathen. I just remember making that joke before, or like chat was making that joke. I'm sorry, I just <laughs> I had to do it again. Sorry, mind if I ask you a question? Did you see any Yakuza-looking guys around here? Oh, all the time. This is Camarocho we're talking about here. Why? Did something happen? They took a friend of mine. They stole my account book. Now let's mention the friend. They nabbed a friend of mine. What? That's terrible. Now that you mention it, I did see an especially conspicuous group pass by a few hours ago. What? Definitely Yakuza by the look of them. They were dragging some poor guy behind them, too. Pretty roughed up. Where did they go? Past the lockers where the underground mall used to be. Okay, I'll go take a look. Thanks. Okay, lockers, underground mall. Lockers, underground mall. Up here. I haven't seen heavy snow in years. Yeah, I think it's been like six years since uh, there was any snow of, of any importance here. Sorry for my absence lately. I've been dealing with life stuff and work has been... Oh, work has been usually on your stream days. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry about it. It's alright. And I spent an entire week celebrating my birthday. Well, that's that's the best. That's the best when your birthday turns into a, a birth week. <laughs> that's valid. But yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's okay. I understand. I hope that life does not continue to kick your butt <laughs> too much matcha in the future, for your sake. Machacha. Is that just what you call matcha now, Ruben? Machacha? Okay, someone get next to a wall. Well, that's not really a good wall, is it? Here, get over here. Come on. Does this work? 
Okay, this would work. Yeah. I still haven't done the pole one. <laughs> Feels like overkill for that guy. Okay. I have spent quite a bit of money on material things. <laughs> Me the last couple of weeks. Yeah, like uh, Christmas kind of took us out a little bit as far as money, and then we got tickets for MCR, and they were a little more. Uh, above <laughs> what we wanted to pay for something like that. We're okay though. But yes, sometimes the material things bring you joy. <laughs> Hakuna Machacha. Yeehaw, we are like siblings. <laughs> what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Machacha. I only live once. I'm gonna spend my money on things that are gonna make me happy. <laughs> And also on surviving and living. But that's a given. Okay. What's the... Oh, what did he say? See, I just- I get into a battle? I have a conversation? Okay, he said the lockers. The lockers. <laughs> I almost thought I forgot again. Okay, we actually need to go down. In that case. Or maybe- he said where the underground mall used to be. I can't go in there. I think it's around the front. I'm just checking here and just in case. They're always here. Okay, I'm gonna go around the front. I'm waiting for my team's new soccer jersey to release and then no more spending on elaborate things. Surviving makes me happy. <laughs> That's understandable. All. Living, living is good. Also, I bought a ticket to see Miku in April and Guns N' Roses in August. Oh my god. <laughs> You're living the dream. Miku and Guns N' Roses. <laughs> what taste. <laughs> Whoops. I'm trying to get to a wall. That's not working. Uh, maybe that doesn't count. Let me try over here. Oh, 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 oh. There? Oh, no, no. I ran. Ran up. There. Still waiting for Rage Against the Machine to announce their tour dates for El Paso and Phoenix. Rage Against the Machine. I think I've only heard one or two songs from them. But I do know of them. Ooh. Are we upgrading? Oh my god! I, I think he's done! Akiyama, I think he's done. <laughs> Alright, well there's another one upgraded. Now, there's one that's a pole? One? I don't see a pole here, so I guess I can't do it. <laughs> Possible trip to NorCal for soccer and a trip to Minnesota for baseball. I have hookups which make the trip cheap. That's my fancy spending for the year, not counting pre-ordered figures. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to either one of their shows because I'm not going to Coachella for that. Understandable. Stop, he's already dead. He looked dead. <laughs> A lot of these enemies look dead by the time that we're done with them and I'm like, I... Is he? I, I don't know if he's breathing anymore. Ok, 
Okay. Maybe I can talk to you. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. Did you happen to see some sus suspicious men around here? They would have looked like Yakuza. Yeah, like two or three hours ago. They went down that way. One of them was all bloodied up, too. It looked pretty dangerous, so you might want to keep your distance. I'll be careful. Thanks for your help. So just, just over that way? Okay, we're just going this way. Maybe I can talk to them. No. That's someone I fought. I think I already talked to these guys. Yeah. Oh, he meant underneath the theater. Okay. Okay, so he meant to go in here. Oh, alright. There's a key. Can I look at it? down here. Hello? Hey, pal. You see some yaks that come through here? Oh, you bet! Those Hatsu Shiva punks. I knew it. Listen, I need to get by. Sorry, no can do. Why not? The Hatsu Shiva boys lock the door down below after they pass through. And let me tell you, that door ain't nothing if not sturdy. Damn it. What now? Hold your horses. We can't stand those jerks, so we'll give you whatever help we can. The tunnels here connect with the basement levels of the Millennium Tower. All you gotta do is find the elevator at the back of the tower and you're golden. That'll take you right down to where you need to go. Perfect. Thanks. That was our home before those Hatsushiba snots <laughs> booted us out. If you help us return the favor, we can finally get it back. Oh yeah? Well, no guarantees, but I'll see what I can wrangle. Okay, elevators at the back of the Millennium Tower, right? Okay, he's not gonna repeat it! <laughs> Go up here... And... Map? Hello, map? Oh yeah, yeah, it shows me this time. Should I pre-order the new Yakuza remasters despite- Ooh, I not miss that one. Despite not having played Zero, he won't be wanted to. Or Six. Well... I don't know. I mean, I would- I would, uh, recommend starting with something other than the remasters, for sure. Unless you really want to get, um, like, the physical copies just for, like, a collector's- Like, from a collector's point of view. If that's what you mean. But I wouldn't recommend playing them before the other ones, that's all. <laughs> Shiba punks! Dog gang! Oh! I think you could, Macho. Just have them ready for eventually play. Yeah, yeah. Playing six before this would be a mistake. Six would be uh, the very last one in the series, yeah. I shouldn't encourage you to spend more money, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, Macho, you just like listed off a bunch of stuff that you're gonna spend money on. But hey, you know? That's your life. If that's what you wanna do with it, that's what you're gonna do. I hate when a bunch of thugs keep grabbing you. I'd imagine in real life that wouldn't be fun either. <laughs> but yes, it's pretty annoying when it's just like repetitively. Grabbing. No, I don't see a pole here either. That's, I don't. This is more like a column. Whoops! Probably can down the wall one there. Although that's already upgraded. So. Well, that was 
different. Okay, I can't grab you. Oh, that broke immediately. Oh, I need to heal him soon. I like that his sunglasses stayed on, though. That whole time. Well, we're making money from these battles, at least. Oh, I really should heal, though. Uh, we can go to the barbecue place. Which is just past here. Mystic Angels. Okay, here it is. I feel like this is the restaurant that I, I have them eat at the most. We are always going here. Oh, that would work. Uh, that one's a little cheaper. 2500. Oh, 2400 would work. Do the cheapest one. Yep. Great A sirloin. Alright, now for plot. Now that the wild goose chase is over. Because <laughs> it's smack dab in the middle of the map. It is a very accessible restaurant. Oh. No fighting, please. Oh, where's the map? It's right here. Yeah. This is my way down to the theater underground. Well, time to get going. And I have healing items, so I, I should be fine. I remember this from Dead Souls. Man, so I'm supposed to associate this kind of stuff with Y4, but I'm gonna associate it with Dead Souls, because I got to that first. Subway. This is usually full of zombos. Where are all the zombos? This is so weird. It's just empty. Ah. It seems a lot less crowded in this game, yes. Who the hell are you? Name Zakiyama from Sky Finance. Always a pleasure. Sky Finance? What's a lone shark like you doing here? Look, I don't mean to offend, but I couldn't care less about punks like you. I think you did mean to offend, Akiyama. Midorikawa, where is he? Huh? What do you want with the boss? No one borrows anything from me without a contract. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't have time for this. You have something that belongs to me. You're going to give me my registry back and let Kido-chan go or else. Like hell we are! How about we bash your damn skull in instead? Trust me, it'll be a whole lot easier if you just return what you borrowed. Let's suit yourself. Guess it's just one of those days. It's just one of those days. Hatsushiba clan members! That is very useful though when their health is, is still full. Gets rid of all of it or at least most of it. My heat back up. Yeah. 
leg. That was so high. A baseball bat. Oh. This room always has a crybaby in it in Dead Souls. And a monkey boy later on. Yep. <laughs> Who called me? A wall Calvin. Destructible objects. You may come across glowing objects that bar your way. You can attack these objects to destroy them. Yep. That's been in pretty much every Yagata game. Fragile door. It sure took a beating from this baseball bat. <laughs> Is there another room that I can grab? Oh, I can grab a fresh bat. He's very flexible. Like, did you do gymnastics or something, Mount Viyama? I don't know, you fight so good. Oh god. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. This place is ours. Yakuza ain't welcome. Relax, pal. I'm no Yakuza. I'm a money lender. One who has business with Midori Kawa, the guy who's been hanging out down here. Oh, sorry about that. This place used to be our home until the Hatsushiba came along and kicked us out onto the curb. There was some kind of ruckus going on, so my buddy and I figured we'd try and take the place back while they were distracted. We ended up just chickening out, though. Guess that ruckus is you, then. I was hoping to sell things peacefully, but that doesn't seem to be working out too well. I suggest you get out while you still can. I can take it from here. No way! I'm tagging along whether you like it or not. Don't be ridiculous. It's not safe for you here. I'm not gonna let you push me around like some senile old fool! The name's Kogoro Sukekawa. Sukegawa. And I'm going to punish those Yakuza bastards for everything they've done! Uh... Before those thugs showed up, this was practically a homeless paradise. The closest thing most of us have ever had to a real home. A real family. But they had to go and ruin it. Not like some fancy pants rich boy would understand how it feels. Well... Alright. You can come with if you want. Really? Wow. Thanks, pal. Just stand back and let old Pogoro show you how it's done. Knock yourself out. He just might. Oh, Twitch killed your laptop. Also, according to my cousin, it's snowing in El Paso. <laughs> really? I guess, like, my perception of El Paso was always like, oh, it's it's dry there, it, it doesn't rain, it doesn't snow, but I guess they get more snow than, like, uh, other parts of Texas. Huh. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot voice. Wow! I don't know why, but it's snowing in El Paso reminded me of it's hot in Topeka. <laughs> the snow isn't common in El Paso. Well, they're getting more snow than us. Alright, we have a companion now. A friend. An ally. Hey there, friends. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find a Hatsushiba-san, would you? Give us back our home, you filth! Ugh. First the old geezer upstairs, now this. I guess the only way to shut you up is to kill you! Die! I got my baseball bat. Getting my heat up. Uh-oh. Of course that takes it away. Keep doing this one. Oh, I guess everybody opens doors with people, <laughs> not just kill you. Oh, that one's 
different. When I visited, it was raining like crazy, and parts had flooded. Oh wow. I bet he does yoga. Akiyama does yoga. <laughs> he goes with the kicks again. I like how Akiyama's face is just deadpan while he's doing all of these sick moves. He's just like... <laughs> Not even emoting. Okay, uh... I really don't need to use an item though. I don't know how good it is, but I'm gonna leave it. I kinda just appeared for a few to finish this movie I started before stream. And I deeply regret it. Easily one of the worst movies I've ever watched. Oh my god. What movie was it, Brandon? I hope it's nobody's favorite movie. Oh, we did that one. I think that's the first time I've done that one. Oop. Do we get dual heat moves with the homeless man? Those are so fun in the other games. Called Bad Apples on Food. Never heard of it. I'm gonna call Blue Support to get a free month or something because that is unacceptable. Yeah, I figured there's no co op heat moves. I was joking. I think that's only a thing in the, the newer games. It's a cool thing, and there's not a ton of cool things in the older ones. He ran. There's still a guy here, though. He just abandoned his friend. Oh, they might be in five? I guess I would have been the first one that had them. Five is supposed to be pretty fun. I barely know anything about it. That's one game I have not really see much of. Of course, it's releasing in a week, <laughs> so I'm I'm worried I might start seeing stuff about it. <laughs> but hopefully nothing too spoilery. This is a good item, I think, but I, I don't really want to waste anything. What is this one? Could I have left this behind? No, oh, I, I should have left this one in the box actually because that's a really, really good item that I want to save till the end. I guess I'll just keep going. And yeah, I know that Y5 is super, super long. That's like one of the only things I really know about it. For a moment I feared. There is a French film that came out a couple years back called Bad Apple. It was not that. Bigger than zero, really? Okay, I, I don't know if I remembered hearing about that. I, I was told that it was very, very long, but I didn't know it was going to be more than zero. And Zero took me a while. I didn't even finish everything in Zero. <laughs> I missed a lot of stuff in Zero. Oh sweet god. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little scared. Ah crap. He locked the door before he ran off. Hmm. Oh, I know. My buddy Huda should still be around here somewhere. He used to be a locksmith. A door like this would be a cinch for him. The only problem is he's a real yellow belly. <laughs> a coward. He's probably hiding somewhere around here, waiting for all this to blow over. Guess we better go find him then. Come on. Oh dear. Now we just have to find someone randomly? In this maze of mazes? Oh, there he is. Uh, this him? So this is where you've been holed up. He's just in the corner! What gives, Kakosan? san san you scared the shit out of me! <laughs> literally! Hey, no complaining. You were supposed to help me fight these punks, remember? But 
I'm so scared. I talk a big game, but I practically piss myself when the punches actually start flying. Thankfully, we don't need you to fight. Now come on, you're coming with us. There's a door we need you to open. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, make sure you clear everyone out before you call me over. The last thing I need is a dirty pair of underwear to distract me from my locksmithing. Lock picking. Smithing. Picking smithing. Okay. Oh, there's more dudes. I knew it. As in, it has more content. Oh, it has more content than Zero. Although it is a horrible film, if you all need motivation, watch it. If actors that bad can be successful, there's truly nothing you can't do in life. <laughs> Damn. Brandon, you should be a movie critic. Have you thought about that? <laughs> Just leave scathingly, scathingly mean reviews for every film you see. <laughs> and you'll fit right in. get into a, a job like that? How do you become a professional movie critic? You know, like, do you just, like, post articles online and hope that people notice that you have a, a way of saying an opinion? Like, I don't know how you get into that, actually. <laughs> I've been told it before. do it for free for years until people notice you. Yeah, it's probably something like that. You do it and the right person sees you. So luck, connections, networking. The usual. <laughs> Just dumb luck. I enjoy most movies I watch, but this just didn't make sense. I, I want to ask what it was about, but I'm also afraid. <laughs> if it was so bad. I don't know if I even want to know what it was about. I am curious, though. Okay, I think we can go back and get him, then. I don't see any more dudes. No more enemies. It's safe! It can come out now! Oh? Maybe we need to interact with the door. I thought I literally had to go and grab him. Okay. The door? Should be safe for your pal Kakuda now. You got that right. Those creeps were no match for us. Anyway, I'll go get Kakasan. Be back in a gif. Um, it's pronounced a gif. <laughs> You can open this one, Kakasan. Hmm, let me see. Ah, it's one of these. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. And there you have it. Very nice. Thanks. Now we can keep going. Alright. <laughs> Dracula, yeah. He spent years writing book reviews for free in his local journal because he wanted to do it. Yeah, I guess anything related to, like, you know, journalism, being an author, being a reviewer, anything to do with writing, really, uh, I think it's pretty difficult to be a professional and, and be successful. Because it's up to luck, it's up to networking, it's up to, you know, Anything really related to, to art, or like the arts, arts and humanities, I would say, is like... Streaming also involves a bit of luck! <laughs> and other things. I 
would rather see Tommy Maso in it. <laughs> I mean, that'd be fun. That'd be fun to see him. I haven't seen a movie uh, with Tommy Maso in it other than The Room. I don't think he really did a lot of movies. I mean, The Room spent spent like millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, I don't remember. Just to make it himself. Okay, that's a stretch, but they're horrible. It's funny to watch Tommy Wiseau, though. That guy knew everyone worth knowing in the second half of the 1800s. Yeah, I read Dracula. I don't know a ton about Bram Stoker, but I did know that uh, they were the author of Dracula. I actually really liked that book. I read it when I was in uh, middle school or high school. I wasn't forced to read it, I just wanted to read it. Same with Frankenstein. And then actually, we ended up being assigned Frankenstein in high school, and I was like, I already read this. <laughs> I don't need to read it again. <laughs> I, I probably should have, though, for the assignment, but I was like, nah. <laughs> I did my time <laughs> already. The movie is basically two young girls terrorize a couple new to town on Halloween night. Huh. Oh, Tommy was so guest starred in Samurai Cop 2. Can't say I've heard of that one. Not another one. Time for Kakusan to work his magic. I think you can open this one too, Kakusan. Alright, give me a sick. Voila. Thanks, Kakusan. He's taking his time. Yeah, he's on the couch. Oh, there he is. Oops, I pressed the wrong thing. That works. Got rid of the sofa guy. Another one? Hey, Kakasan. Jesus. What about this one, Kakasan? On it. There you go. Thanks. Hello? The hell are you doing down here, Gramps? Stop! What are you doing to my precious machine? My precious machine! It's Doc Brown, he's back! What do you care about a, a broke down piece of junk? Now get the hell out of here, this is our turf. Dr. Minamida, you've come back too? Sukigawa-san, perfect timing! The doc used to help us out back when we lived down here. Mind giving us a hand? Sure, what's one more fight? Hey buddy, I'm tagging in for the old guy. That's a Shiba san's waiting for me, so let's make this quick, alright? Alright. Ooh! There we go. There's that one. Need more heat. Doc Brown returns! He's back. Which means, right, I have seven is back. The uh, fighting thing. I think I only did that once or twice in Y3. Don't know how many times I'll do it in Y4, we'll see. Okay, I have plenty of heat. I was hoping to do the other one. Gotta get my heat all the way back up. Do that one again. Well, there are technically. Oh, I did that one. School 
Crusher. Oh my god, they're hiding in the machine. I just realized. You have full health. So I need to try to do the pole one and the rail one. I'm more so the pole one. Heat moves. Okay. Hmm. My machine might come in handy if I can actually fix the darn thing. You're a real lifesaver, by the way. Thank you. Thought I could help. That's some machine you have there. You want to know about my machine? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. This is the IF7R, a creation of mine that allows you to relive your- Hey, I actually don't have that much time to chat right now. <laughs> As for you... Shit. I take it Hatsushiba-san somewhere up ahead. Damn right he is. It's not gonna be the cakewalk you're expecting, though. He's gonna wreck your scrawny ass. <laughs> Sorry, Suka-san, but I'll be going it alone from here. Hey, I get it. You were a big help. Just be careful, you hear? I will. Thanks. Okay, Kaku-san, one more door. Sure thing. Oh, you like to call that the dome driller. <laughs> Thanks. See you guys later. Skull crusher, dome driller, brain masher. <laughs> all, all good names. There he is. Hido-chan. Akiyama-san. Hey, you're good. Real dedication to the job. Midorikawa-san, I assume. And I take it that's the Hatsushiba clan chairman. I don't know what you want with Kido-chan in my registry, but what do you say you give them back? You heard the man, boss. What's it gonna be? Hehehe. <laughs> Akiyama, was it? I'm afraid you've got the wrong idea. Oh yeah? How you figure? You didn't lend us shit. You gave it to us. So, you see, you can't ask for it back. That would be just plain rude. Oh, why didn't you just say so? If I gave it to you, that's different. Damn straight. Glad we're seeing eye to eye. Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna ask you to give it back to me. What? Just playing along with your little game. Now give it back before things get ugly. This guy's a riot. You seriously think you can take us? We won't know unless I try, will we? <laughs> oh, I definitely know. But hey, why not? I'll send you back to your secretary in a body bag. Appreciate the language you're using, sir. That's my secretary you're talking about. And you're paying for her hospital bill. And her ambulance bill. Like a room. I hope he does that. Oh no, what was me? He's got a gun! Whatever shall I do? Oh, just crush his skull. <laughs> With his kneecap. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's one. Alright. Oh, I should have a lot of heat right now. What do I do? What do I do? There we go. That's what I wanted. Is that the front of a car? <laughs> Why is there a car bumper in here? <laughs> oh, is that like the hood of a car? Oh, okay. There's just car parts in here. I see. Ah, that makes sense. Of course. Where there's a tire, there's a car bumper, of course. He's done. Oh, he's back! I thought I crushed your skull. <laughs> So 
die. Oh, that's dead. Okay, he still has the chainsaw. Oh, he still has the chainsaw. I can't go that way. Oh, I can do a heat move. Yeah, kick him! <laughs> kick him! I got rid of a good chunk. Whoa, 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 whoa. I should probably heal in a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Oh, don't don't charge up at me, sir. Oh boy. <laughs> I should have hid there a little longer. The chair will save me! Never mind. <laughs> it broke. Uh I uh, uh the mu muffler? The muffler will save me. <laughs> Believe in the muffler that believes in me. It wasn't, it wasn't that. It was his kicks, of course. I have to believe in Akiyama's kicks. That's what. That's what does it. Just kind of like melted <laughs> underneath us. You're really trying to sneak out like that. Wait. <laughs>返さなくても結構ですよ。あんたをぶちのめしてから勝手にもらっていきますから。くそ、この通りだ。勘弁してくれ。しょうがないね。それじゃあどうしてこんなことをしたのか全部話してもらいましょうか。he wanted me to help find some person named Lily. Did you just say Lily? Mm. What Shibata want with her? Hell if I know, but he looked really pissed when he was talking about her. So that's why you took my registry? Yeah. We knew she would come to see you. If she came as a client, you'd have her contact info in your registry. It still doesn't explain why Shibata wants her so badly. Hmm. There's something up with her for sure. Something about her story. Of course. Something tragic will probably happen for these two lovebirds, as Yakuza games tend to go. Sorry to put you through all this, Akiyama-san. Hmm? Nah, don't mention it. You know I'm no good at all that sentimental crap. Besides, it's not like it's your fault. Even Hana-chan couldn't stop those guys. Still. Look, I got my registry back, and Hana-chan got off with nothing but a little bump to the head. We're good, alright? Yeah. At least he didn't shoot, Hana. I should probably get going. Thanks again. Sir, if you want to shoot me, that's fine, but please mind your language, sir. It, if he's speaking about a lady, he... he fucking better. <laughs> Another busy day. Think I'll take a breather back at the office. <laughs> he's gone full leather face. Nothing tragic happens ever in the game. What am I talking about? I'm just speaking nonsense. I know, it's trash. I want to see chaos. <laughs> just utter and complete chaos. Well, here, I'm, we're, there's just a random fist fight happening in the streets. Is that chaotic enough for you, Brandon? They happen quite often. One second and on the floor the next. There's a real one. Ooh. Oh, the crunch. <laughs> oh, the crunch. Oh, the humanity. Okay. 
okay. I want to know if Hana is okay. I should also feed Akiyama and upgrades and stuff. Let me do that first. Crunch! The ultimate crunch experience. These characters are too rich not to have cars. I feel like driving around would avoid a lot of these situations. Well, I think that, uh, especially living in in the city, I don't think a lot of uh, Japanese people actually have cars. I think it's it's more normal to take public transportation. This is a video game, though. <laughs> so <laughs> they probably could have cars in this fantasy fantasy Japan. But I'd imagine that's probably why. Driving is boring. That's true, you don't get into fistfights all the time if you drive. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, there is road rage, of course. But you can't do rat kicks while you're driving, true. Fighting every five seconds is probably more boring. The older Yakuza games are definitely worse when it comes to that. I, I feel like uh, at least Y4 is a little better than Y3. Y3, Brandon, was was awful. It was every few feet. Every few steps, you would get into another fight. Now let me fill up his health bar as much as I can. I guess uh, this. Oh, we can get more than one. Okay, awesome. Let me get something small then for the last bit. All right. I mean, you probably could do a kick while driving. Isn't safe. <laughs> I would say not. Don't don't try that at home. <laughs> in the Dragon Engine, there are cars that are driving around. Oh, that's true. Like in Judgment, uh, I don't know why six, but I I have heard in some Yakuza games that you can get run over. And I mean, in, in Y3, when you're in Okinawa, there are cars, but you're not driving them. It isn't safe, but you can still do it. <laughs> so Brandon is right again. We saw that coming. Oh my god. Uh, let's just keep going, I would say. Oh wait, abilities, right there. In Kiwami 2, there are cars. But you don't drive the car. You have six points. Feel like well in heat mode with the tireless strength of an Yuzuru Dragon. I mean, there's cars in Y Zero too. You're usually the passenger, except for that one time that Kiryu stole Nishiki's car <laughs> and drove it back to Kamurocho and left Nishiki in the woods. <laughs> Maybe that's why he betrayed us. He never forgave us for that. There are cars in three, but only on one street in Ryukyu. Yeah. That street where it plays a little tune when you have to cross the road. I remember. That was very recently. Um, heat moves were done, so I'd have to make some choices. Quick step cancel. Quick step executed during a rush combo. Oh, okay, I want that. Dodge combo. Quick step executed during rush combo regardless of mode. I don't know if I want to get another of that. <laughs> I thought you were still on three. When the fuck did this happen? <laughs> I finished three. like three or four weeks ago? Maybe less. I think I've only streamed Y4 three times, so I think it was like three weeks ago. <laughs> Keep up, Brandon. We're speed running. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> I would have already failed. <laughs> okay. Um, counter kick. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. All right.
Oh, you know what? While we're up here, let me check and see if I can get any items from the lockers. It's probably mostly going to be minigame stuff, but I want to see. I'm a little upset I never noticed. Well, to be fair, they do look similar in uh, graphics. Oh, the counter kick is like his tiger drop, huh? I'll have to try it out. Tattered scarf. The awful smell of this thing should keep enemies away. Never take it to close. I'm keeping that. Hold on. <laughs> That's gonna prevent battles. Hell yeah. Okay, where is that really good for item? Yes. Spicy knife. The blade of this knife contains bits of chili pepper. Delivers a burning sensation. Let's keep that. I don't know what to get rid of. Big Pio-chan is staying indefinitely for the entirety of my playthrough. Don't question me. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. I can always grab more. Uh, let's do a pearl. Isn't worth very much. Maybe I can use it for something. Okay, let's just send that away. Bro, is that a sriracha knife? <laughs> Maybe so, Calvin. <laughs> Maybe so. Can you imagine someone like, okay, I'm going into battle. I know what I must do. I'm gonna pour sriracha all over this knife. <laughs> I just go ham. Brandon, you don't seem like you're invested, so I don't blame you. I'm the biggest Yakuza fan ever. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, Flame, what are you talking about? Brandon's like the number one Yakuza supporter in chat. <laughs> Brandon loves when I'm playing these games. What are you talking about? Several plate, we can sell that later. I think there were plates in Y3 I never sold, but I guess I didn't need the money, or I would have. Don't need that. Brandon never complains when Yakuza is being played, never ever. Okay, that's for a mini game. <laughs> yeah, Brandon is the only reason Fishy still streams Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> the singular reason why I'm still here is Brandon. Yep. <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. Everyone say thanks, Brandon. <laughs> Everyone thank Brandon <laughs> right now, Jack. For <laughs> being the only reason. I'm still. I'm still playing Yakuza. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you! There it is. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, Brandon. Gracias, Bramble. <laughs> Just thank my cash up. Wow, Brandon. Ever so humble and considerate and the opposite of greedy. I'm sure there is a vocab word for that. All those things. <laughs> Alright. I feel like I should have saved first. But to heck with that! Caution? I don't know the word. Just kidding. I do. Today's Lily Chan's last day at the club. She has to sell a total of three million in three days. I should drop by and see if she needs any pointers. From us? 
You saw me play this game last time, right, Akiyama? You were there. <laughs> I think you might recall how badly it went the first time. No? Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you once again. I don't know if there's like a guide out there for this. Maybe. Maybe. But I'm just gonna wing it. It's okay. Not like my pride's on the line or anything like that. <laughs> it's not like I'm I'm playing this in front of a, an audience of any kind. <laughs> 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 the face! <laughs> Djibouti, wow. Akiyama, you know damn well we don't know what we're doing. Akiyama, you know damn well that I don't know a damn thing about this damn mini game. You know it. You know it. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to give Lily Chan her last training session, and probably her worst. Of course, feel free to go to the back room. Okay, so at least I know that I should not just take off all the makeup and think that that's gonna go back to square one. It it needs to be there. It just needs to be particular kinds of makeup, apparently. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've been through this. He said the exact same thing the first time. All right, girl. I'll, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. This is just a tutorial for the actual mini game, by the way. Okay, so there is a, a hostess mini game, but this is the one that's like in the plot. I figured that might have been the case because they wouldn't make this entire mini game for just like two sequences in the plot. I mean, they also had that in Y3, where it was like a whole mini game. You miss the K2 cabaret. I miss the cabaret in general. I, like at the end of my Yakuza 0 premium adventure streams, I was getting a little tired of cabaret stuff, but that was also because I finished it. It was done. And I had done so much to get to uh, Mad Dog Majima. But I miss it. <laughs> I'm, I feel sad when I play this because it's like, this is not as fun! It's just dress up and then you fail. <laughs> it's just dress up and failure! That's it! <laughs> it's just dress up and sadness. Okay, makeup. <laughs> Calvin Van Brandon right now! <laughs> <laughs> Cabaret was trash, ban me. Oh, don't ban him. That's what he wants. Oh, shoot! Okay. <laughs> okay, well, you didn't get a ban. You didn't get what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> now I've banned Brandon, and Calvin is. <laughs> okay, timed out, not banned. Hostess Maker walked, so Cabaret Grand Prix could run. This is true, but I still miss it. This is like 2009, 2006 eyebrow. Ooh, we're going for these brows now. All right, let's do. I think I can mess with her hair and her nails, but. Maybe not Lily. Maybe maybe that's for the mini game itself, but not Lily. That could be it. We can change her eyebrows, though. <laughs> it's not like eyebrows are important. Um, I think I'll just go with this. This might have been what we started with, but it matches her hair. But also, I could go feral. <laughs> now the problem is that's gonna mess with her score. I don't even know what the customers want right now. I have to wait till I walk around. So you know what? 
Let's just go ham. Because I don't even know what they want anyway. Who knows? Maybe it'll go in our favor. Blue. Cotton candy makeup. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Did I zoom in somehow? Oh, I did. Okay, I didn't mean to. I pressed a button on accident. Okay, I like- I like those. Now the color. Something else. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Cotton candy with blue! Oh. She smiles. She likes it. She likes that makeup. Yeah, the RGG Studio minigames in general are hit or miss, to be honest. Yeah, like the cabaret in Zero and Two were very fun. I love them. Uh, but a lot of minigames I don't even mess with at all. Uh, Although they probably would be fun if I started trying to mess with them. It's just like, eh, it's not a huge deal to me. That's more so something I feel like I could go back and do later. If I so chose. Yeah, cotton candy. Cotton candy. <laughs> I demand a band. I don't know why I said in general twice, Bambi. <laughs> no, Calvin, it's okay. They're way more hit than miss. Ban yourself, Calvin, duh. Go feral or go home. <laughs> Throw some Shrek in there. We can throw the Shrek in with her contacts. Love that. Glitter? Yes. Yeah. Glitter. Glitter it up in here. All right. Yeah, Shrek time. <laughs> Real Shrek hours. Can't go too crazy with this. You can barely see it. Subtle. Subtle. That. Remember, this stuff costs money. Akiyama's rich. It's fine. <laughs> exactly. I'm going feral. I got money. <laughs> I can't remember if you have limited club funds yet in the actual mini game you do. Who knows? <laughs> Who freaking knows? Just let Fishy waste it all, Flame. Self warning her. This will be over faster if there's no money. <laughs> Going broke speedrun. Yeah, we're gonna take Akiyama all the way back. <laughs> take away all his progress. Horrible. I do that speedrun every week! Oh my god, Brandon. She looks like she's in pain. Well, she frowned a little bit. <laughs> Give her Shrek vision, yes. All of the customers will look like Shrek. I'm sure that will be just divine. Oh, I don't- oh. Oops. Okay. We got off. One and two. We got Matt. And glossy. I'm going with glossy. We're going full feral. Okay, so she could also have Shrek lipstick, <laughs> but I don't know about that. I think that's enough Shrek. Shrek vision. Look, she's happy. She's smiling. She's like, I like what's happening. I like this makeup. She probably doesn't feed her because she wastes all the funds on makeup. I'm not in charge of feeding her. She feeds herself. What have you done to this poor woman? I don't know what you're talking about. She is runway ready. And actually that's not, I think, too inaccurate. <laughs> because runway makeup can look pretty weird. <laughs> Just make her Fiona. <laughs> Might as well at this point. I would if I could. What are we 
go with here? I, I can't choose. Maybe just a... Maybe something neutral to like, just tie it all together? Or... <laughs> we go full feral. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, you... You like Lily? Oh. You like... You like the makeup Lily usually wears? Mm. Suddenly I can't hear words. <laughs> what? <laughs> what autocorrect was that? <laughs> what were you trying to say, Will? <laughs> I read that and was like, huh? Those Republicans, some bright eyebrows. <laughs> what were you trying to say? Autocorrect is so weird sometimes. <laughs> I changed to my iPad and it's killing me. Oh, it's not used to your little quirks while you type, huh? Alright, makeup. Spot on. Amazing. A++. 110%. Alright, outfit time. Okay, we have this one. Kind of, kind of offsets the brightness of her makeup, you know? Oh, those are some bright eyebrows. Wow. It changed that <laughs> to Republicans? Really, iPad? We have mermaid dress. That's it. Alright. Otherwise, okay, yeah, we have we have limited funds. We have fifty-eight thousand. Okay, I am gonna save the money for the next round because this time I'm just doing whatever because I don't care. I don't even know what the people will want in this round. Uh, but next time I will actually try to <laughs> change your outfit to something they'll want. So I will leave it for now. This is charming. I think. Well, let me read it first. Classic. Mature. Okay, so we'll leave her in the mermaid dress for the first round. I think we're kind of going for like a, a showy. Yeah, that's the word. We're going for a showy look this time. So we have these two already. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy these. Who knows? Maybe maybe they want showy tonight, and this will be the perfect cabaret minigame run. I don't know. Only time will tell. <laughs> I'm not hoping. I'm, I'm not getting my hopes up, though. <laughs> okay, elegant, and then this one is large ruby charm. Perfect accent to any outfit. See, that doesn't really tell me anything. I'm assuming it's kind of showy. I'm not gonna buy it though, it's too expensive. But that doesn't really tell me about what its stats would be. Okay, no rings. Can't afford it. We could afford this one, but it's like cute and cute. It's not worth it if it's just cute. And then these are way outside. Well, I could get one of these. Designer, huh? as well with a nice suit. Cute girly accessory. So there's another cute thing. I think I will save the money though for the other rounds. If it's more than like 12,000 I won't do it. And then we have this bracelet which is mature. We could throw that in. Why not? <laughs> yeah, wear that. I don't want to spend money on other stuff. Autocorrect just added a whole word, huh? A whole new word to the sentence. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see how it would change it to that. It's just like, really? That's kind of a stretch to go from just like the first two letters and make that an entire word. You really should, giraffes, save your money. <laughs> Damn, autocorrect. Are you lying, Calvin?
pro tip, if they ask for refined, mix the makeup? What do you mean by that? This in combination with how I'm getting too tired to read it. <laughs> is it a good combo? Oh boy. It's those kind of hours. It's real typo hours. Yeah, let's save this outfit, huh? This is important. This is an important look. This is the best we've had so far. Yeah, save four. Perfect name. Done! Oh, nix the makeup. Get rid of it. Okay. I I have never really seen that used often. Alright. Um, yes. That's funny because the last time I played this, I think they were asking for refined, if I'm remembering properly. And I did take off her makeup and then it, it still was not great. Like, all of her stats were just, like, horrible. But I can try that again. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> What's wrong, Queen? What's wrong with your look? <laughs> You're wrong. Oh my god. <gasps> look at. <laughs> that emote is so useful, Calvin. <laughs> yeah, she said. That's also my reaction inside. <laughs> Looks. See. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what they're talking about. That's a look. That's a look. <laughs> Shrek cotton candy is a look. This game doesn't have any taste. Let's just look at that one more time. Yep. Yeah? Maybe the purple is the stats, right? And we have full everything. That makes more sense to me. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm joking. I know it's the pink. Okay. Wait, no one's requesting you? Do they have eyes? How do they not request? She looks amazing. I don't know what they're talking about. Wow. Okay, let's see what they want. Charismatic. Trek cotton candy isn't charismatic. You would have so much to talk about, like... Like, uh, what eyeshadow are you using to complement your eyebrows? Is that eyeshadow in your eyebrows to get it so pink? Wow. Where did you learn how to do that? Uh, where did you get those contacts? They're so vibrant. They're so vibrantly green. Did you get them on sale? Do you go out like this every day? That's amazing. How much effort does that take? Wow. You're sabotaging the test you gave her. And? It's a challenge, isn't it? I'm giving her... I'm giving her a perfect start, and it's up to her to... to get the customers, alright? <laughs> I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Akiyama is actually running out of money, so he's sabotaging her test. For charisma, you have to train, not makeup. Hmm, I'm thinking I should change her makeup, though. <laughs> I'm assuming I can do both of these. I don't think I've even done the training. No, we did the training once, but it was not prompted. Like, it just did it. Let's do training with this look first. I'm hoping I can change her look after that. Oh, I see. Charisma B. Okay, so talking tips. Her looks also could be better too. Oh, I could have been doing that this whole time. Oopsie. You can do both, but only one time each. Ah, okay. Alright, uh... Well, they want charisma, so let's do talking. Get that charisma up to an A. Right now, I'd like to give you some conversation tips to help you captivate the customers. Sound good? That sounds great! 
I could use a little help. You sure? You sure about that? I don't. I don't think you do. I think. I think you. You're great so far. That's realistic. You do have to train charisma low key in real life too. <laughs> I guess just as you go through life, yes. Uh, but I guess also in specific situations. You also have to train charisma when you play Sims. I know that. <laughs> You're doing very well. Good job out there. Especially if you want a job in business in Sims 4. Well, that's because you're such a good teacher, Akiyama-san. Oh, her stress went up. Charisma is at an A, though. Okay, dress up time. So it wasn't a minigame, it was just like, you choose to train and then it just happens. Alright. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's change your makeup, huh? I guess Cotton Candy Shrek isn't... Oh, it's chalked up to D, huh? Okay, let's change the shape, let's change the color, let's go for a more... Let's go for a more natural look, huh? Let's do that. I do like these lashes, though. Let it go, let it go, gotta move on. Okay, those are actually... let's, let's tone it down a little. Yeah. That. No? You're unhappy? You don't like those lashes? What's wrong? Talk to me! Communication is key! Man, the eyeliner that's more heavy on the bottom... I don't really see that a lot. It just it looks odd to me. Alright, let's do... Yeah, let's just do a little bit a little bit of eyeliner. Just a small amount. Okay, are you, are you sad? You're sad. You want eye- you want- you want eyeshadow. Okay. I don't know if she's actually reacting or if it's just random. Okay, you like that one? Does she react every time? Smile. 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 Okay, I think she is reacting. Is it a hint? Or just what she likes? Okay, we'll go with- uh, let's go with that- no, 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 no! No, 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 don't be sad, don't be sad. Okay, <laughs> she doesn't like that. I don't know what you want. A key pee. A pee. No, no, I'm unhappy. Maybe it's the other stuff on her face. <laughs> let's let's get rid of all that first. Okay, no glitter. I don't really, I don't really want the glitter. Yeah, that's good, right? No, sad, sad times, brownie times. Okay. Okay, okay, don't be sad, don't be sad. <laughs> she looks so sad. Did you edit your Sims playthrough today? Is that why you brought that up? No, actually. Uh, I finished that, I think, uh, a couple months ago. It's all on YouTube now. Everything that I've streamed. I, I can't work on Sims 4, the 100 Baby Challenge, until I stream it. Because Dio is about to die, and I want to record that <laughs> live. Uh, so I haven't been able to like work on it off stream or anything. But no, I just I think about Sims sometimes. I just I think about. It. Oh, you're doing a tired will. You sleepy? Well, if you if you need to head off to bed, just let me know. This song kind of slaps though. It and indeed it does. I guess the cabaret music just usually slaps in general. Why does her eyeshadow look like poison ivy? What she has right now? Oh, like the the tan one. I think it was also the the contacts making it look weird. I did find myself vibing to the music a few times during this. The faces are random. Okay. It seemed like she reacted every time. Why would they do this to me? Okay. Yeah, we'll go for. That's an intense look. I actually kind of like that. Dark purple. She frowns after, like, everything I choose! What am I supposed to do? It's random, it's very, very, uh, discouraging, I would say. Let's go with that. Okay, lipstick? Guys, gotta go. 
go with matte. And that's cute. I want to change her eyes. Theo's about to die and I want to record that. Record that. Big Chitaro energy. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like... Because he, at the end of the Sims 4 playthrough, it's not done yet, but like, what I have so far, he becomes an old man. And I think it's important to record his final moments. I'm not excited for his death. Don't take it that way. I'm just... I would like to share it with others. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, uh... Okay. Yeah, she smiled at that. I know it's random, but... <laughs> He's giving me false hope. Okay, okay, this is a look. This, this is a look, that smoky eye. Okay, girl. Um, I kind of want to change the lip now. Yeah. Do that. Oh, not that. Okay, the context actually. Yeah, she looks kind of nice. No, oh, I like these. I like Hazel. Yeah. We'll do that. She's judging your every move. <laughs> the crabs say Dio is about to expire. <laughs> Dio aging? Blasphemy, I know. I don't even have the vampire expansion pack for Sims 4, but even if I did, I would not be able to make Dio a vampire because that's part of the challenge. The the person has to die. Not has to die, but the person has to age naturally. So if they happen to die, you have to just continue the challenge with one of the the sons or daughters. I really want to look up the lyrics to this. Do it. Go for it. Okay, this is a look. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen Lily. Alright. So if they just want charismatic... I don't know if there's really an outfit that would call for that. Uh, but I do want to improve her looks overall, so let's do... Clean. Simple. Refreshing. Maybe that. Inexpensive but showy. Let it go, let it cute. Go. Let's do cute stuff. Maybe that would help. Classy. Let's go with classy. I mean, maybe it's bad to wear things that clash with each other, but... Okay, we could afford one of these. This one's cute. You know what? Let me look at the dresses first. Yeah. Yeah, charisma and stats are separate. Okay. Yeah, we could afford another dress. This one's... Yeah, these ones are pretty affordable, but... Sexy and cute. Sexy dress. Classic. Chic and mature, seductive and elegant, mature standard. I kind of want to get her this one. Let's get that dress. I wish you could pick colors for the dresses. And we can do this again. Okay, we can afford... Watches. Sort of. This would take out. I think that would be above budget, so we would have to go with this one. And take it back, right? Luxurious gem bracelet. That's mature. Brilliant and flashy. Cheek. Alright. Later 
around, people will ask for a look and personality type. Yeah, that's what I'm used to from Y3. Because I did play the cabaret minigame a little bit in Y3. More so, like, towards the very beginning of my playthrough of it. Yeah, let's save it, why not? Yeah. Day five. No names. I think that's pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna sleep tonight. Oh, sleep. Good night, y'all. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here, Wilt. I hope you have good rest and good dreams. And I hope you have a good day tomorrow. And I hope I see you again soon. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good night. Alright, uh, finish. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have like 1,000 left. Uh, go big, go home. Go big, go home. I think, I think she looks amazing, personally. If no one requests her, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Motivation went up. There we go, there's some stats now, looks are still... So I guess all of that stuff is training, huh? Okay, that's something I did not realize. And yeah, you can only do it. But we might be able to do it after the next round, I don't know. Uh, let's go with that. It's got an A in Charisma. How about it? Ooh! There she is! Hell yeah, first time she's gotten requested! Lily-chan has a ton of customers requesting her. Hell yeah! There we go. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Angered the customer. Lily looks a little tired. I think I'm done surveying. Time to head back to the room. What happened? I haven't seen that before. You did it. You beat Yakuza 4. Never mind. You goofed. I didn't goof. Lily goofed. I think Lily Chan is getting stressed. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you for a second. Done with your inspection, Akiyama san? Um, hmm. Okay. Training adjusts service stats, looks smart, charisma, motivation, and stress. A oh, motivation and stress as well. when she's stressed out. I don't know if it's gonna mention that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she did- she did get motivated from the outfit. Free time. Oh yeah, that was in the training. Okay, so probably no training this time around if it lets me do it again. Dress up I don't even need to do anymore. Yeah, her stress is super high. Okay. So there's looks. Of course we could do looks and, and trivia, but that would stress her out too much, so okay, we'll do that. Oh, you couldn't have done training before this. This was the tutorial for training. Okay, I was gonna say, like, how did I not notice that the first time I did this? Is there a chicken hat option for this mini game? <laughs> I think you should spend your downtime doing whatever you like. Relax. Really? Thank you. Just talking on her phone. Oh, I see. Did you make the most of your time? You seem pretty relaxed now. Yes, I feel a lot better. Cool. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. So she might do well again when we let her go back out there. I don't need to change a thing. I don't think I need to change anything. She looks great. Let's go. 
I wish there was a chicken hat option, Calvin. I might use it. Lee Chan has a ton of customers requesting her. Hell yeah. Hey, no. No bad times around this time. No mistakes. No angry customers. Alright. Great work today. I'll get in touch with you later. See you next time. I've taught you everything I know. It's all up to you now. Okay. There's still some time until the club closes. Good luck. Thank you. The manager will contact me once he's calculated your sales. You just need to wait until then. Okay. Yeah, a C, a C, and an A. Great. Speaking of animal hats, in Death Stranding, there is an otter hat. Really? Does it do anything? There's a bear and a raccoon hat in Red Dead 2. <laughs> well, that, that makes sense, I guess. I've done all I can do. I guess I'll go wait for the results over at Sky Finance. Afterwards. Going back to the old office. Okay, but like, is the bear and raccoon hat just like, it's bear fur and raccoon fur? Or is it like, it has a bear face and a raccoon face? <laughs> I'm imagining the first one. Also, same thing for the otter hat. Is it just like an otter? On a hat? I mean, with, with Kojima, I could believe anything. The bear one is a bear head, and the raccoon hat is one of those old-timey raccoon ones. Okay, I was imagining that definitely for the raccoon one. So the bear hat is just like, you just have like a bear head on your head? <laughs> you got two faces? I really should save. I really should, like, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Hello, Akiyama-san. So, how did Lily-chan do? I just finished totaling her receipts. Let's see here. Over the three days here, she made... 3,570,000 yen. Hey, that's not bad. I know you said she would only be here three days, but the club would really benefit if she decided to keep working here. She has a rare talent for keeping customers happy. Business has been booming ever since she came. Eh, that's great to hear. Is Lily-chan there now? I'd like to speak with her if she is. Certainly. One moment, please. Hello? Lily speaking. Hey, Lily-chan. I heard you did well. Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Akiyama-san. Nonsense. That's all you, Lily. Your natural talent and hard work. But without your guidance, I'm not sure I would have passed the test. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. Happy to help. Now, about that money. I have it ready if you have time to meet. Sure. Where should I go? How's the roof of the Millennium Tower sound? We can meet there. Okay. I'll be waiting. Millennium Tower. Great. Till then. Well, it's not like anything bad ever happened at the Millennium Tower that would make me worried for what's about to happen at all. Head to the Millennium Tower! Briefcase in tow. I better hurry to the top of the Millennium Tower. Lily Chan will be waiting for me. I will probably save on the way there. NPCs comment on how ridiculous you look when you wear the bear hat. I hope I'm able to get the bear hat whenever I do play it, and I'll just wear it constantly. I'll wear it every day. Yeah, her Shrek vision look really took off with the clientele. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Shrek is in right now. <laughs> Shrek fashion is in. Let me see if I have to drop off anything. You know what? I forgot to equip this useful thing that I got. Uh, let me do that before I save. Whoops. 
Uh, I'll get rid of this one because it's less. And, well, we are about to go do something important, probably. It might be a battle, so I will keep it off for now, actually. I am going to equip this weapon, though, in case there is a boss battle. And aside from that, um, you know, I'm going to put this in storage. It's it's not that important to me need it. Oops. I guess I'll just save. I'm already here. Are you gonna go pick Arthur? Are you talking about Red Dead? I don't know a lot about it. <laughs> I just know it's cowboy time. <laughs> so if you're talking about Red Dead, I, you need to give me a little more context, actually. Because I, I try to avoid looking at any Red Dead 2 stuff because I do want to just experience it myself. I've seen, like, a uh, video here and there, but I don't know names. I don't know plot. I think... I think all I know really is that, like, the main character is a bounty hunter? And the Wild West. How much constantly you eat in that game gives you different stats. Oh, it has a weight mechanic. Like San Andreas. Huh. I didn't even remember that San Andreas had that. I'm supposed to meet Lily Chan on the roof! I can take one of the elevators inside at the top. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll have to see what I what I feel like doing once I actually get around to playing it. I'd imagine that would be another like long playthrough game that I would play on stream because I definitely want to stream it. But it'll probably be up there with, like, uh, Metal Gear and Yakuza games. But I would be excited to play it. I just don't know when we're gonna get it. I mean... <laughs> we really- we're trying not to spend any money right now. Definitely not after the concert tickets. But if it goes on sale for pretty cheap and I have a slot that's gonna open up soon in my schedule and I need another game to fill it, then yeah, I, I will get it. I do want to play it at some point. It's on the list. I forgot San Andreas had that too. San Andreas had a lot of things before anyone else did. Like, I have vague memories of that game, but honestly, I think when it came out, I shouldn't have been playing it, and when I was playing it, I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> so, I definitely didn't play it all the way through or anything. Would you play it on PS4 or console? Oops, or PC. Uh, so PS4 or console? I mean, PS4 or PC! Um, I think I would rather have it on the PS4, honestly, and I would rather have the physical copy just because um, I'm kind of trying to get away from digital just because I don't want my, my consoles to run out of space. Especially for Switch games, I'm a little more concerned because I have had to archive games already to make room. So like, we do want to get New Horizons for uh, the Switch. And uh, I think we're going to try to get a physical copy. At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what Rugo's thinking. But, did you guys hear about how, uh, the new Animal Crossing, there's only gonna be one island per console? Like, you can only have one save file, I guess, for the entire Switch. I know people are kind of upset about that. Like, I can see how it makes sense, especially, like, that's pretty much what they've always done. But yeah, like, if you share the Switch with other people, you're all gonna be in the same village, the same island. I think for me and Rubo it's fine. We're, I mean, we're not gonna mess up each other's stuff on purpose or anything, but I can imagine some people are like, oh, my siblings are going to wreck it on purpose. You know, I've seen people talk about that, but. PS4 or console is a hard choice. Whack, yeah, it's a bit whack, yeah. Switch hard drive space is pitifully small. It doesn't hold that much. I do like that they do the archive thing though, because that means that you basically can undownload the game. 
but still have all of your save files ready to go whenever you re-download it. So I think that's nice. It's a good compromise. But it is a very small console. It's it's a uh, portable, you know. So I'm sure that they had to kind of like cut corners in some places and unfortunately one of those places was the space. But for that reason, yeah, I do want to try to get more physical games. Not even for a collection, just for space. I, oh, you don't know anything about Animal Crossing? I I love Animal Crossing. I played Wild World and New Leaf, so I'm pretty excited for New Horizons. I actually got Rubo into Animal Crossing with New Leaf. They hadn't played it before, but it's a pretty fun, relaxing game. It's a uh, it's pretty chill. I bought a 128 gigabyte SD card at launch and never had a problem with buying all digital games. Yeah, I think we have a smaller SD card, and that's probably why it ran out of space, but. Messing with physical copies seems like a pain unless you want to resell them after playing. Well, I mean, to me, it doesn't really matter too much because they're going to be the same price anyway. I mean, they're both going to be, I'm pretty sure, $60, so uh, whenever we do get around to getting New Horizons, we'll probably just get the physical copy. I mean, I already have physical copies of some games. Like, some of the Yakuza games I have physical, um, Y6 I have physical, uh, some Switch games I have physical, like Bayonetta. Uh, Breath of the Wild, Odyssey. So some of them also were gifts that people gave us, um, like for Christmas and stuff. And those were physical copies. But we've get we've gotten a lot of digital, honestly. Uh, mostly because we don't want to wait for it to get in the mail to arrive. But it honestly doesn't matter too much to me either way. It doesn't help that games keep getting bigger, but that's inevitable. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, Akiyama, let's go. <laughs> He's just been staring at the elevator door <laughs> like a weirdo <laughs> for like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. He said we're going to keep her waiting, but it looks like she's keeping us waiting. Is she right on time? Akiyama-san. Here's your loan. 100 million yen, as we agreed. Arigato. Thank you so much. Er, I wouldn't open that just yet. Huh? What if the wind blew it all away? You'd have a hell of a time trying to get it back. Did he put something else in there? Oh, right. That would be awful. I'm just teasing you. It's all neatly bundled up. Go ahead, take a look. Oh, okay, he was just messing with it. Okay. Money! Neat. Hard to believe it all fits in there, huh? Huh? That briefcase contains about a third of what the average college graduate makes his entire life. And his monthly pay is a tiny fraction of that. Strange to think how a man can struggle so much for so little. It's true, but even that can be enough to change someone's whole life. Akiyama-san, thank you so much. My pleasure. At first, I... I was planning to just take the money and run. Oh, shoot. Yeah? But you... you believed in me. You made me feel like it was okay to dream again. It had been so long since I'd felt that way. That's why I'm going to pay back every last yen, no matter how long it takes. Even if you're in the nursery home? Yeah, about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? No interest either, although it's not like Sky Finance charges it anyway. I don't understand. Me either, Lily. <laughs> I'm not in this business for the money. Money changes people's lives. I just like to see it happen up close and personal. I... You can go out of business doing this. Why did you choose this sort of test for me? Are you sure you want to know? I don't normally tell folks the reasoning behind the tests I give them. I'm sure. Well, this time around, it wasn't about seeing how serious or determined you were. Truth be told, I was testing myself. 
don't understand. Hmm. How do I put it? Let's just say I don't consider myself the best judge of character. Why is that? I've been betrayed a lot over the years. It would almost be funny if it weren't so tragic. <laughs> That's awful. But it's true. The bank I worked at set me up and cut me loose. The woman I loved walked out on me. It's been one thing after another ever since. Just the other day, a Yakuza I'd been backing straight up killed a guy and disappeared. It got me wondering if I should even bother trusting anyone anymore. Damn. Akiyama-san. I guess it's all just part of the job. Still, I'd at least like to think I'm safe with the people I trust. I'm only human, you know? So, how did having me work at your club test you? Because I found you alluring. Enough to make three million in three days. I wanted to see if my hunch was right. Sorry to put you through all this for something so stupid. No, it's okay. I feel really lucky to have met you. I mean, you did give me Shrek vision, and I'll never forget that. Maybe. But luck isn't something that just finds you. You have to get out there and put yourself in a position to be lucky. And for what it's worth, I couldn't be happier that you passed the test. Akiyama-san. その代わりと言っちゃなんだけど、一つ教えてほしいことがある。何ですか。どうして理事ちゃん、人を殺して回ってるの。I knew it. <笑> あのライター。ライター。そう。君が初めてうちの店に来た時に持ってたライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター。ライター
I'm not really that surprised. I knew something was gonna happen. To like, end what was going on between them. I thought maybe she was gonna get killed. But instead she is the killer of people. And I kind of felt like that's the way it was going anyway. I just wasn't 100% sure. But I had a feeling. Okay, let me answer this. And then I'll catch up with you guys. Ah, Hanachan. Everything okay? Alright, now I can catch up. 3, 4, and 5 are the only Yakuza games I got digitally. Oh, for the remaster. Yeah, otherwise you would have had to wait till, I guess, this month to play it at all. I just found out I had Kiwami on digital the other day, so buying the physical... Oh, was completely pointless. Oh, no! Don't think I can return a game seven months later, though. Well, you got it for free, though, right? Uh, didn't you say at some point that you got it for free by having a PlayStation account or something? Uh, PS Plus or whatever? Man. And I remember you talking about when you went to go buy it, but I, I forgot that you had gotten it for free. But you hate this series. I do, that's why I only have the first one. Should have started with Zero Rookie Mistake. Wouldn't change how trash the series is. God damn. Yeah, I wasn't waiting several months to play Y4. Yeah. I, cu I couldn't wait. I had to start uh, Y3. Because I finished K2, like, right as the remaster was coming out digitally. I'm very glad that they did what they did, where they released each one digitally, you know, staggered, I guess. Shrek vision is priceless. You can't you can't put a number on that. No. Ah, Hamchan. Everything okay? I'm still waiting for some test results, but everything looks good so far. They'll probably release me soon. That's great news. I have some good news of my own. I found Kido-chan and got our registry back. Oh, also, I uh, solved a murder case. Really? You did? Way to go, chief. You take care, all right. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I should probably head back to Sky Finance. I was expecting like a battle or someone to die. Oh. There's a matter that needs discussion, sir. Would you mind coming by the club to talk? Sure. What's wrong? Well, it's about the club's finances. I'm afraid if I don't ask for your help, the club may be in danger of going under. Here's where the minigame gets introduced, huh? Really? Well, we want to avoid that. Okay, I'll be there soon. Good. I'll be here. See you there. Okay, let me save. After that major cutscene. Which actually didn't take that long. Save. Oh, false alarm, it's not the point of no return? Okay. <laughs> I'd be like, I, I can't do the cabaret? The cabaret's gonna make me <laughs> go to the next character? I don't remember ever downloading it though, because I don't think I had PS Plus at the time. So I don't know how it ended up on my downloaded games. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm sorry though, like, even though I like the Yakuza games, I would be upset to find out that I accidentally bought a game when I had it for free already, you know? Especially with you, Brain, and you don't even like Yakuza. <laughs> I think mostly because we like it so much, you feel like you have to balance it out. But I, I do think you, you don't actually like it. I, I do take your word for it. But you do rag on it a lot, and I know that's because we like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, Brandon. How is the club doing? Well, as I said on the phone, business isn't very good. I see. What's the problem? We just don't have enough girls, sir. There is a lot of competition out there in Camarocho, and everyone is looking for girls. The other clubs employ scouts to find new girls, and even hire professional trainers for the girls on their payroll. We should do the same if we want to compete. Otherwise, we'll keep losing money. Well, good luck. <laughs> I'll take care of this myself. I see. Huh? But you're the owner. 
I don't have a choice. It'll cost too much to hire people to do it. Besides, I can handle it, I think. As you say, sir. We'll leave it in your hands, then. Let us know if you need our help. Here's a little money to use. I'm afraid we can only spare 100,000 yen right now. Every little bit helps. I'll get more money once my girls start generating revenue for the club, right? Of course, sir. The more money your girls make for the club, the more money you will have available to use. That is generally how things work. Miyoki will assist you again. It's a pleasure to be working with you again. Likewise. The first step is finding some promising girls, and then perhaps changing the cheetah print on the walls. If you find a girl that you like out on the street, bring her back here. Good luck. Alright. The game's story will not advance while you are recruiting girls for the club. Walk around the streets of Kamurocho until you find a girl you like. Okay. Let's run around and find some girls. That guy might try to fight me. Yeah, oh. I think I might see someone down there. Oh, I should have put on the scarf. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember to put on the scarf after this. He's not too upset by it. It's a dope looking case. And it looks good in my collection. I'm glad it wasn't totally wasted. Like, I guess at least you didn't buy it twice. You just got a physical version when you already had the digital for free. Like at first when I found out that the remasters had come out, right after you and Rubo bought the original Yakuza games, I was like a little like miffed about it because it's like, okay, that was money we didn't have to spend because I'm never even going to touch the, the old ones now that there's a remaster. But, kind of the same reason, it's cool to have the cases themselves and it's not like they were totally the same. This remaster has stuff that was cut from the original, it has updated graphics of course and stuff like that. So. Oh, you just <laughs> you just put all their locations in the chat. Okay. Uh, I would have liked to run around and look a little bit before I I got help for that, but that's okay. Oh shoot! I forgot the scarf. Dang it. Okay. I'm not gonna use the knife. I'm gonna save that for an important battle. A lot of things okay, I see. I see where you're coming from. Ooh. Oh, I did it that time! <laughs> there we go. That's like the first time I've been able to do that. Alright, so one was right in front of where I was a second ago. Do you need to get all three at once? I'd imagine that it's like something you, you do over time if they're gonna fight you. Oh, scarf, scarf, scarf. Almost forgot. I'm hoping that helps a little bit. And William Tower is. I might end up playing through it when I'm re reminiscing in like 20 years. Who knows? 
Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. They give you no hints, and you have to do one of them at a time. Oh, really? So you can't just find all three? Okay. Yeah, it's alright. But I guess just for things like that, like, I, I want to kind of, like, look around a little bit, and then if I get really lost, I'll be like, okay, it's time. <laughs> I need help. Just for future reference, but it's okay. Okay, so there's one here. That's a lie, I probably won't. If... If you are able to somehow get Yakuza 0 for free, or like for two dollars or something... I, I don't know, it's been like as cheap as nine dollars or ten dollars I think at some point. I would say that that is more fun than Kiwami. You might... You might like that one a little more. Even though it's a long game, you might like it. But, I mean, you've seen a lot of the Yakuza games from, from me playing them, so if from watching you think that you won't like it, then I understand if you don't want to try Zero. They're all going to be on Xbox Game Pass soon, supposedly. Right! They're bringing Yakuza to the Xbox. I heard about that. I mean, to me, it's a good thing. It means that more people can play the games. Why are you hanging out in a place like this? You're going home right this instant, young lady. I don't like how he's talking. I'm not a child anymore. I don't have to listen to you or anyone. I can't believe you went through my cell phone to snoop on me. Ooh. That is seriously messed up. Yep. Breaking her trust. I just wanted to make sure you're not mixed up with a bad crowd, that's all. And what gives you the right to decide if my friends are good or bad, huh? I'm your father! That gives me the right! It's my job to look after you, to protect you. I don't need you to protect me anymore. I'm leaving and never coming back! Uh-oh. We're gonna hire a runaway? Hey, wait! Don't break their trust, man. People need privacy, you're just pushing her away. Look what happened. She ran off. There she is. She didn't run very far. <laughs> Ugh. I flew off the handle and said I would never come back, but now what? I guess I can go grab my stuff when Dad isn't home, but I can't afford to live alone. Hey, you could try working at a hostess club. A hostess club? Sure. Look, I saw you fighting with your father earlier. I understand what you're going through. Oh. If you promise to work hard, I could even sort out a place for you to live. Really? Sure. But I'm not pretty or sexy. I'm hardly the hostess type. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> really? Well, I guess it's worth a try. At least for a little while. Thanks. In any other situation, this kind of interaction would be like red flag after red flag. <laughs> Do not believe or trust anyone <laughs> saying this to you. But we know Akiyama's a good person, and it's a video game. I don't think you even need an Xbox. You can subscribe to the PC version to get PC games, which might include the Yakuza supports. Oh, okay. I just heard that they were bringing Yakuza to Xbox. That's really all I, I heard about it. I saw Zero for $20 a few days after I bought Kiwami, but never bought it because I hadn't tried out Kiwami yet. Mm. I've seen it for cheaper than 20, but not all the time. It's it's a little infrequent that they go below 20. Even 20, I think, I mean, to me, because of how much I enjoyed it and how much there is in the game, is a steal. But from your perspective, you probably want it cheaper than 20. <laughs> but I think it does go below sometimes. And it's settled. Come on, let's go to the club. Welcome to Elise. We're going to make you into this club's number one hostess. You'll need to come up with a name to use in the club. What would you like your name to be? Oh, I'm naming her? You shouldn't have given me this power. You really shouldn't have given me this power. Like, I mean... You really shouldn't 
have given me this power. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek, huh? <laughs> that works. You'll use that name at the club from now on. <laughs> Kiwami is basically DLC for zero. <laughs> I just left their default names because I'm boring. Oh, I, I can't do that this time. I don't know why I even have expectations for this stream stuff. <laughs> I mean, what were your expectations if not me naming someone after Shrek? You should know to expect that by now. <laughs> Akiyama, no! Alright, thank you, says Shrek. <laughs> First, let's get you changed into an outfit that brings out the best of your natural beauty. Don't worry, I guarantee you'll look great. Okay. Same dresses. I don't really know what look to go for. I don't know what the clientele will want. I mean, I think she looks pretty cute like this, but for a hostess club, yeah, I gotta wear something else. Well, let's go for... So we've seen this one. Oh, well, I already have some of these, so we could just give her one we already have, and then... If I see that the clientele wants something else, I will buy the dress. I'm gonna do that to save the money. Her name is Shrek forever now. What have you done? Um, I've achieved something great. <laughs> I've achieved greatness. I wonder if I can go back to my Discord message when I got Kiwami. I miss being that innocent. <laughs> All right. Uh... This is a good look. Let's put her in that for now. What about makeup and stuff? Okay. Very refined. Ooh, D's. She's had she has a D in looks and D in smarts and C in charisma. Alright, we're gonna have to bump up some of that stuff. But it's gonna depend on what the clients want. Not bad. Really? <laughs> Shrek. This is a little embarrassing. It's time to go out on the club floor. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll get customers. Okay. Just no like, oh, uh, here's a little bit of what you should do when you talk to someone. Here's how you serve a drink. No, just like, get out there. Have you ever heard of super service? Super service? No, I don't believe I have. Yes, when a hostess provides the best possible service to a customer, she shines like a radiant goddess. That's what we call super service. Now that I'd like to see. Achieve super service five times. You can trigger super service by using certain combinations of outfits and training while the hostess has a high level of motivation. Use a variety of outfits to try and achieve super service. You will need to achieve it five times. Good luck. Okay. What are you gonna name the other two? You can't rush greatness. I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna come up with. I'll have to see how I feel in the moment. I mean, Shrek was the obvious choice for the first one, but I'll have to see. Okay, she's not getting requested. Shrek doesn't seem to have any customers. I wonder why. <laughs> what if it actually judged the name that you give them and was like, oh, you wanted to give them nonsense? Okay, they're never going to get customers now. <laughs> All right, let's see what they want. Name the next one Dog Teeth. I'm just speechless. <laughs> cutesy. Okay, they want cutesy. <laughs> Calvin, what in the goddamn hell? <laughs> of all the nonsense names, dog teeth. I don't want to imply that the next girl doesn't have good teeth, though, you know? <laughs> He's so angry! Fine! Oh my god. Alright, uh, let's do training. For 
stress is moderate. Name her Rat Knees. I'll settle for no less. It is Year of the Rat. But I can't make any promises. What if I named one Beelai Jilai, huh? <laughs> How about that? Is that a good compromise? It's rat related. Um, okay, so she has D in smarts and looks. So I think... I mean, they were just asking for cutesy, right? Oh, I hope they weren't asking for something else, because I only remember cutesy. It is not. No compromise. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can go for... Looks? Let's work on your presentation. Makeup, hair, posture, all of these things send certain signals to a man. That does sound good. I'll be taking mental notes. I love seeing that name there. Oh, you found it. I got Kiwami uh, 63019. I can tell I was stoked to play it. Can't believe y'all let me get so disappointed. I'm sorry, Brandon. I used a guide to find out what outfits were best for each look. Otherwise, I would have had to experiment and this would have taken way longer. I don't know if I'll look up a guide. I mean, some of the items do say, you know, cute, refined. They say those keywords. I'm gonna try to do it. If I really get stuck, I, I will look it up. But at least for today, my first try, I'm just gonna wing it and see how it goes. But yeah, for Yaxa 3, the cabaret stuff, I probably should have just looked up a guide to help me. I think I even... I might have looked something up, but I couldn't find anything very good. We did nothing, that was all you. I said, I can't wait, I hope it lives up to the hype. <laughs> if only I knew. You might have had a better time with Zero, honestly. You're doing very well, good job. Thank you. It's all thanks to your help. I'm Shrek. It's not bad stress. Alright, so a C in looks and charisma now. They want cutesy, so we have to change up her outfit. Now I'm pretty sure that makeup also has specific types that it likes to do. There's four different styles. Looking in your eyes. I can see that this could get like very, very complex. Like each eyebrow has a certain look that it, it gives off, you know, but I'm gonna go with my gut, and then next time I do the cabaret stuff, then maybe I'll, I'll look up something to help me. Maybe something like that. Thinking about you. Listen to the beat of my heart. I just want these to be bad. seem like how are you supposed to know which eyeliner goes with what style which eyebrow style goes with which uh, stat you know but I'll just give it a shot pink pink is cute I'd imagine glitter can either be cute or like glitzy like showy so I'm gonna leave it off for now I don't want to throw that into the mix yet. Kiwami is the grindiest game in the series. You have to do so many Colosseum fights to get Tiger Drop. I, I don't think I ever went to the Colosseum. I might have gone to the Colosseum like, if it forced you to during the plot, but I, I didn't go there. If I went back and played it again, or did more of a premium adventure or something, I probably would try it, but... At least with refine, you know, to get rid of all the makeup. Oh yeah, that's true. They want cutesy though, so... I'm on my own. 
but that's okay. Oh, these are contacts. Uh, let's do. I don't know. Purple's cute, but let's just go with. Uh, let's just go with that. That might be the same color she had anyway. I like the smoky eye look. I don't know if the color really matters. This is more so, I think, for fun. Just do pink. Oh, pink. Looking in your eyes. All right, now we accessorize. We can also do. Ooh, we can do the hair and nails now, huh? Now the problem is this costs money. So let's see what this says. Standard. Modern, elegant. Some might call it boyish, but who cares when it looks this good? Hmm. Mature. Default. I might leave it at default? What would be cutesy? Would this be cutesy? Worth it though, Tiger Drop does the most damage in Kiwami. Oh, yeah, I never got it in Kiwami. Brayden has been watching for a total of 250.08 hours. Almost 300 hours, oh my god. I could have watched so many Scooby Doo episodes with that time. <laughs> you could have watched a lot of episodes of something <laughs> with that time, yeah. What are they singing? I need to know. Is there a lyric video out there for it? How many of the new burbs do y'all have? I really wish there was a way to like show off how many burbs you have. Kind of like with the old system, but Twitch doesn't have anything like that right now. The most you can do is like take a screenshot and then put it in like Discord or something. Or just like typing it in the chat, of course. You have like 53k? Oh my god. How <laughs> can you stop watching for a few days? You think short hair is the best bet? I was kind of thinking that because everything else is like this one's modern, elegant, mature. This is just standard. I don't know which way this would go, but it's very detailed. So I would almost think it's like a glamorous kind of thing, and then this is not going to give us anything. So I think I was going to go with short hair anyway. Alvin, don't listen to Brandon. I used to beat Catman in every stat. I don't know what happened. You have been upstaged. Flame has been watching for a total of 111.5 hours. My god. Okay, let's get this. It's not even that expensive. Okay, now color. Well, I mean... <laughs> she is Shrek. <laughs> I bet the color affects it, though. <laughs> I bet it does. I I couldn't help myself. I'll probably change it next round, but I, I had to make it green the first time. Calvin has been watching for a total of 379 hours! <laughs> we get it, Calvin! Let Calvin flex! Let Calvin flex! <laughs> I appreciate your hours, Calvin. And your amount of birds that you've accumulated. But I appreciate all of your hours, you guys, not just Calvin. I appreciate all of your hours and all of the perks that you've collected. Or just being here in general. I do appreciate it. My phone's too old to show me what emojis you used. <laughs> it's the it's the sad face with the big eyes. Oh, color might not do anything. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't know how intricate they got. Like, okay, if they do a wild color like sky blue or green, make that this stat, you know? I hope it doesn't affect anything because I need Shrek hair. Shrek needs to have Shrek hair. Otherwise, what's the point? What's the point in anything? <laughs> All right, now we can accessorize. Cutesy, we have these. I think these are cutesy. Yep, that's cute. Don't think there's a cute necklace. Uh, I don't know if it's better to just leave nothing there or to put something else to increase another stat, but they just want cute. So let's just not throw other stuff into the mix. Cute nails. It says it right there. I don't find them very cute, personally. I think these are more cute than this, but, you know. Vividly colored nails. Well, oh, no, this one says cute and full of life. Oh, now you're, now you're confusing me. Chic and mature. Now you're confusing me. This says cute in the name. This says cute in the description. But this one literally says cute. Why do you do this to me? I'd imagine it'd be this one. This one visibly is cuter, but this one says cute nails. Yeah, I was gonna change the dress. I just I hit accessories first. I guess uh I'm gonna go with the one that says it in the name. I hope that's right. Okay, that's cute. But I, I do want to look at the dresses before I buy expensive stuff. I'm just seeing what I have right now. This one's cute and we already have it. Okay, this one's showy. Luxurious. Mature. Brilliant. Flashy. Cheek. Okay, so no bracelet. I don't think there's a cute bracelet. I will come back to the rings after the dress. Thinking about you. Oh yeah, there you go, Brandon. The beat of my heart. <laughs> Never mind, I don't need no help. <laughs> you figured it out. We also have a um, a commands Google Doc. Uh, oh well, you you're on mobile, so it'd probably be harder to find, but. There is a commands panel underneath my my video. My uh my screen. Uh oh. Brandon has been following it for eight months and one week. <laughs> Let's see you beat that stat, Calvin <laughs> Baker. Okay, that's the one thing you can flex on <laughs> on Calvin with the one thing. Okay, so cutesy. <laughs> Calvin has been angered. Okay, that's mature. I think these bottom ones are supposed to be cute. That's just sexy. This is cute. Okay, so probably that dress. Okay, let's get this one. It's not even that expensive. What a look. What a look she has. Okay. Now we can probably get a ring. Because we can afford it. Yeah, cute ring accented by the heart-shaped gem in the center. Let's get that. All cute. All cute everything. Yeah, it's the mini dress. I think, I think that's it. Okay, I will name... Oh wait, oh I'm saving over the old one. I think the one I care about is the fifth one, and that's it, so I'm gonna save over that. And I'm actually gonna name it. Let's name it... Cute. Cute! Alright, let's try it. There she is. Personally not. But she's not even happy with it? <laughs> she doesn't look happy. Is it... Is it the ring? Is that it? <laughs> Her stress went up. 
Ooh. What is that? Oh, so it's like just cute and nothing else. I mean, that's all I really did. But it's like nothing. Oh my god. Alright. I mean, she has some cute. <laughs> she do. She do have some cute, though. I don't know if she's gonna get picked by anybody. No. <laughs> no one wants Shrek. Come on. Shrek doesn't seem to have any customers. Man. Did they say something else? Where are all the cute girls? So not cute enough, huh? Hmm. I mean, she still has a C in looks as well, but they're talking about a stat that she can have. Okay, let's let's see what else we can do. This is my swamp. <laughs> That's why they they won't request her. She just keeps saying that over and over again, and also that she's like an onion. Okay, let's do training. We might have to do free time. Uh-huh. Let's just do free time. She's too stressed to, any to do anything else. Smarts. Something happened. All right. Um. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. All right. Um. I mean, it could even be the makeup is screwing us up, but she also doesn't have a necklace. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the clothes I did fine with, so maybe it's just the, the makeup. Because everything is cute. Everything I chose is cute. And that's all I need. I don't need elegant. I don't need showy, flashy stuff. So I'm not gonna mess with that. Let's just mess with me. It could even be that the hairstyle shouldn't have been changed to this, but... Alright, um, let's see. Let's make the eyebrows match. <laughs> it just makes sense. I mean, maybe even the eyelashes are like not too much. Turn them off. To me, this seems like showy or flashy because they're so extravagant. Maybe we'll do... I, I think actually I'll keep it on one. Maybe the eyeliner will be changed. Do you know that you make me a lady? I don't know. I mean, this looks cute to me, but I don't know what the game considers cute. Let's just do that. need too much color in the makeup when you have green hair and green eyebrows. <laughs> she could have swamp, uh, swamp vision or Shrek vision. Either way. This one's swamp, this one's Shrek. <laughs> but she's already got a lot of green. Color does matter? Oh, you looked it up? Oh. Okay, well that could explain it for sure. <laughs> well... The, the Shrek hair was fun while it lasted. Man, that makes me sad. I wish that the colors were just like, oh, let's let the player just customize it however they want and have fun with it. No. It, it will change the stats. Alright. And here I'm like, okay, she's got green hair. That's fine. Uh, it must be the... <laughs> Must be the eyelashes. Okay. Like, 
I think her eyes were fine. Okay, let's not have green eyebrows then, I guess. We'll change her hair. Well, I don't know. I'll just do a brown color. I think everything else is fine. I'm gonna miss Shrek hair. Style. I'm gonna keep the short hair. I mean, that looks nice. Okay, let's do that. And the eyebrows are fine. Okay, maybe, maybe this. The good news is that once you're number one, you choose a final look that doesn't get affected by stats. So Ogre Hostess is still on the cards. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, so you have to earn the right <laughs> to customize and make Shrek Hostess. Okay, I see. That's that's worth it. I want I want to get there. <laughs> I want to be able to have Shrek Hostess with no uh, negative stats. Okay, I'm gonna save this over. Cute. Because this is actually the one that will work. Hopefully. Okay. Well, that's saved over. <laughs> so what you're telling me is, it isn't ogre yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Brandon, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's right, my broker. All right. Yes. Let's see how that goes. I mean, she is cuter. I also changed her eyeliner and stuff. But I'm gonna miss Shrek Hostess. Oh uh, yeah, she likes that one. Okay, so we got a little bit of flashy and more cute. I don't know if that's enough, but we'll see. <laughs> Brandon, get back ogre here. <laughs> Please stop. No, Brandon, you have to use a Shrek pun. We we can't understand any other language right now. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Let me see. Ooh, it worked! It worked! Yeah! Shrek seems to be keeping herself occupied. Perfect. Cute girls make me happy inside. <laughs> Same. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, she gets stressed? Oh no. Dude, stop. I wonder what's wrong with Shrek. Maybe she's getting a little stressed out. You think? She's being harassed! I think I'm done surveying. Time to head back to the room. I keep reading it like that, but he's saying time to head back- Time to head to the back room. You okay there? Shrek. Yeah, she's not doing so hot. Time to relax yet again. Oh, I did save it over the, the last one, Flame. I did do that. Well done, Akiyama-san. See you next time. Oh, that's it. Shrek's individual sales. Hey, we got a profit, though. We didn't go into the red. I would like to do more. We could also get another, another girl. Um, maybe I can just have Shrek for now? Shrek bringing home the bacon. Do y'all want me to go get the other girls and then we can name them all today? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean onions. Yeah! Shrek is bringing home the onions. Refinement and modesty. This is surprisingly fun to watch. 
But like, do y'all want me to just keep improving with Shrek, or do y'all want me to go get the other girls and I'll name them? Probably, probably the latter, I guess. Can I leave though? I'm already in here. I don't think I can actually leave. I think I just need to do it. I already went in here. Okay. Okay, we're already here. Alright, so we'll do another round with Shrek, and then maybe after that, I will go and get the other ones. Is ending stream an option? Not for another, uh, like, 40 minutes or so? <laughs> it's an option at very specific times, Brandon. <laughs> then I have no input. You naming her Shrek doesn't hurt. God, I, I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, you can't change it. I'd imagine they wouldn't make it affect it if it's something you can't change. Is karaoke an option? Um, I've already done all of the karaoke that I can just with Akiyama. So probably not. I am gonna do karaoke every time I switch to a new character. And I guess if I get far enough with a hostess that we can go on a karaoke date. Because I know that there are music videos for the girls when they sing. But aside from that, I've already done it uh, a couple times, yeah. I think I'm going to be playing the, the cabaret minigame probably for the rest of the stream for today. As long as one of them is going to be named Rat Knees or Dog Teeth. Calvin, please. You can't get the other girls until Shrek is number one. Oh, okay. <laughs> the stream ain't ogre yet, buddy. <laughs> Calvin, stop making the same pun, please. <laughs> ogre, my dead body. <laughs> I appreciate your ogre puns, Calvin. Oh, her stress is actually uh, low again. Okay, so let's do... Okay, they wanted refinement and modesty. They didn't say anything about these stats. So let's just work on smart. And we'll just try to bring everything up to the level. Today we're going to study a little trivia. No matter what the conversation, it's always important to be smart about what you say. Knowledge is power, right? That does sound good. I'll be taking mental notes. I almost wonder if I should be reading out her voice in a kind of ogre-ish voice, but I feel like I would get tired of it, so <laughs> I haven't done it yet. You're doing very well. Good job. Thank you. It's all thanks to your help. Alright. Now we got C's and everything. They, they want uh, refinement modesty. Start with the dress. This is mature, elegant, could be real. Cheek and mature, looking in your eyes, classic, sexy and cute, and this one is just sexy. says elegant. I think I'll go with that. To the beat of my heart. Standard. This one says elegant. But short. So definitely not straight and long. Refinement different from elegant. Modern, elegant, refined. Also says seductive. You think refined hair is the standard? You mean this one? Or this one. There's two standards. This one is, is standard, like, that's the hair she had when she came in. And then this one is like the standard hostess look. Refined is basic vanilla. So just like basic 
though. I'd imagine not this, then. <laughs> this does not look very basic. This is free. Makeup, I think I'll keep the same. Accessories we need to change, for sure. Let me go through those. Clean, simple, refreshing. So probably that, because this is cute, this is showy. So yeah, we'll go with the two earrings. Uh, this one is elegant. Classy. I think they said classy and refined when I was walking the floor. Cheek and mature, gorgeous. Cute. Pivot. So, I'm gonna go with none. Nothing really seems to be what we need. Cool. High class. Uh, ornate. Extravagant. None of those seems to say refined. The thing is, like, I don't want to just put her out there with no accessories. I feel like the stat is going to be very, very low. Luxurious? Maybe this one? Designer. Refined? I would say that's refined. Oh, I don't even have the money for it, actually. Uh-oh. Standard as in the name. Alright, so that's what she's wearing. I don't know if a watch would go with this. Brilliant, flashy, so not bad. Cheek, bold, mature, luxurious, classy. Cheek? Would cheek be classy? I don't want to put her out there with no accessories. I mean, it, it, that could be going towards a different direction, but. And then I, I want to get this one, but I can't afford it. And then, uh, rings. I don't think any of the rings are refined, though. I can't afford it. <laughs> Nails. I didn't see anything. This is cute. This could be extravagant. That says chic and mature, and I can afford it. Well, they don't want mature. They want classy refined, so... It's weird because, like, sometimes chic is on its own and sometimes chic is paired with mature. And it's like, how do I... How do I interpret that? I'm just gonna leave them off for now. You think the pearl? Mature? Sure, just go along with refinement then. Hmm. I mean, I don't want you to tell me everything. <laughs> like, if I mess up, it's okay. Uh, but I guess mature would go along with refinement? They, just, they didn't say mature. Refinement, classy. I guess I'll go with that one. Watches I can't afford the other ones. So. Let me look at these again. So I do have this one. Mature standard. I guess that would be refined. Elegant. Chic and mature. So I wonder. I've been kind of going along with this now. Chic and mature stuff. There's also mature standard. I'd imagine this one would improve two stats, and this one would only improve one. She goes with her accessories, though. <laughs> Guess I'll try this one. That, that might be good. Oh, you're going by what you remember? Okay, I'm gonna try this one. If it's not great, I might change the dress. Yeah, let's save this as, I guess, we're fine. Oh, 
No, no, no. I forgot to take these off. <laughs> take off the eyebrows! Okay, I'm gonna leave the eyebrows. No eyebrows. I mean, no eyelashes, no eyelashes. She does still have eyelashes, but no falsies. Okay, no eyeliner. No eyeshadow. We already have that off. Uh, for this, I guess I'll turn that off just to be safe. All off. So, okay, let's save over that again. Okay, that hopefully shouldn't do it. Okay, go get him. <laughs> Get out there and make us proud, Shrek. Make us proud so I can actually give you Shrek hair again. Ah, okay. There we go. I think that's full refinement. Let's do this. You better be requested. Okay, good. Here we go. Shrek seems to be keeping herself occupied. Go Shrek! Ooh. A genius. Refinement still. A girl who looks cutesy. They want refined and cute! Okay. They want refined, cute, and smart. Alright. I think I can do training for, for trivia again. Let's do that first. <laughs> Go Shrek! <laughs> There's the orc. <laughs> this is my club. <laughs> okay, trivia. Oh, she's only gonna have a B. That's okay. Her stress is gonna be up there, but I gotta do it. Now, someone still said refined, but also cute. I wonder if it would be safer to just put her out there with full refinement. Someone probably still wants to see her, or if I should try to mix them up and have her like equally cute and refined. I'm sorry, I'll try harder next time. Oh, she didn't improve? Wow. Well, that's not good. Refined and cute? Refute? I refute that statement. Okay. Like, I'm thinking I should go balanced and have cute and refined. Which I feel like would be a little difficult for me to try to do, because I'd be scared of just, like, messing it up. Looking in your eyes. Stick with refined, don't be wishy-washy. I don't want to... I feel like I could really mess it up if I try to put on some cute stuff randomly. As long as someone is looking for refined, you're good. Okay, so for future reference, if they're looking for one stat, I can just concentrate on that one. I don't have to mix up her styles to fit everything. Alright. Then I will leave this as is. The only thing is she's not going to have a lot of smarts. Nothing changed. Ain't that a Pokemon? <laughs> oh, wishy washy. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Nothing changed. <laughs> Smart? Who needs them? <laughs> Who needs those brain cells? <laughs> okay. Let's try that. Okay, yep, she is requested. I was gonna say, is someone trying to steal Cutie's look, but it's just a gray shirt with a red tie. Not a not a gray suit with a red shirt. Drek. Seems to be keeping herself occupied. <laughs> a 
no to the brain cell. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. I need to pay attention. Okay, smart, cute. No, no, no. I want to. I want to keep listening. Okay, smart, cute. So they don't want refined at all for the next one. They just want cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to change her outfit. I think the first cute outfit we had worked. Cute, innocent. Let's go for that then. Oh yeah, I figured. I figured that would be the case, Flame. It's Kiryu's impersonator. Oh, it's Biryu! <laughs> it's Biryu. He even has glasses on. Man, your pants aren't even great to match your shirt. What a faker. He came back from Kiwami too. Oh yeah, there was that impersonator of Kiryu. I can't believe that happened. Okay, she's way too stressed out, so I'm gonna have to do free time even though they want smarts. Because things are not gonna go well if she's too stressed out. Smarts actually went up. So maybe it's because we did the the trivia training, but she was too stressed out to even absorb it. So now that she's less stressed, it worked. Would you look at that? Okay, we have to change her outfit for sure. So I think we can just load the other outfit and it would work. Pretty sure it, it was fine. Yeah. Easy peasy. They want cute? Here you go! We're done. Just like that. Looking in your eyes. For two looks. So far. God, those nails. <laughs> I don't really like them. <laughs> yeah, skewed cute. But still not like perfectly cute, but good enough. Good enough. She has a B in smarts. Alright, let's go. Free time actually improves a random stat. Oh, so it was random. Yeah, there she is. Good, good. Trick. Seems to be keeping herself occupied. Oh god. Get okay, cute. Smart. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get to go another round anyway. Hmm? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> she's had a little too much. I wonder what's wrong with Shrek. Maybe she's getting a little stressed out. We're done. Oh, Shrek. Why are you causing trouble? She looks stressed. I think that's it. Well done, Akiyama-san. See you next time. we do? Ooh. Yep. We're getting better. She's getting crunk. Shrek is getting crunk. <laughs> I definitely think we can improve on the cute. I have to look through all the accessories again. It could even be like some of her makeup isn't great for cute. But I, I don't want to look up a guide and be told what it is yet. Maybe next time I play it, I will. <laughs> this is my boost! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if please! Is that a tiny wine glass? <laughs> oh, let me walk around first. Uh-oh, almost made a mistake! Almost made an oopsie! Gorgeous. Charismatic. Just charismatic. What else do they say? Gorgeous charisma. That's all they say. Gorgeous and charismatic. Okay. 
that's it. So... I think some items do call it gorgeous, but not everything. So I'll have to see what I can do here. Better than me, I looked up that guide in two seconds. You are giving me some of the answers. <laughs> I will say that. But I don't want to know every single thing. There weren't any Twitch alcohol emotes. That doesn't surprise me, though. No. Just put like a little orange juice or something. <laughs> okay, training. They want uh, charismatic, and her stress is not that high. So let's do talking. Let's do playing. Doing very well. Good job. Okay. Didn't that go down just now? I won't help here, but I will say there's a way to get both flashy and gorgeous really high at the same time. Cheek and mature, classic, in your eyes. sexy and cute. They want gorgeous. Life's a See, none of the dresses say gorgeous directly. I think it's one of these three. Listen to the beat of my heart. I'm gonna put her in this one for now. It though. Okay, gorgeous. Hold on. <laughs> okay, seductive and elegant, gorgeous. Chic, mature, gorgeous. I don't think it's gonna be this one. Classic. Accentuates curves. Maybe this one. Okay, uh, let's see here. So standard would be poor and fine. Standard be firm. Modern and elegant or just normal. That's cute. Mature. Do you know that you make me a lady? Maybe mature goes with gorgeous? You can't say you're not gonna help him and help spoil the gameplay if you want. Please do not. <laughs> you better don't. No, I don't think Flame would spoil like the plot or anything. No. Um, okay, so that's cute. This is refined. So Gorgeous has to be one of these. I kind of have the feeling that Mature would go with Gorgeous. a basis for this. <laughs> Silence B <bee> dog. <laughs> Do it coward. <laughs> Let's go with this one. up to chance. Gorgeous. I'm gonna go right in the middle. Makeup for gorgeous. Oh boy. match exactly, actually. Eyelashes. You too. Eyeliner I might keep like that. 
I probably am gonna go ahead and look up a guide for this next time. Unless I unless I don't really mess up today and it actually is fine, but let's see. Yeah, it should be on. Or just like showy, definitely, or even cute. I can see glitter going either for cute or for like glamorous showy, but gorgeous, I don't think so. Contacts, we could go with. Let's go with blue. I don't know. Blush, I'm gonna keep. Lipstick, uh. Actually, let's just let's just go with that one. Okay. Yeah, don't don't call Brandon donkey. <laughs> you are just quoting Shrek. Don't 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 call Brandon a donkey. That was unnecessary and hurtful. Ouch. <laughs> Brandon has feelings. Of course, Brandon has feelings. Hey, Rory, welcome. Oh my God, so many cute emotes. <laughs> she sporkle. <laughs> she do be sporkle, though. <laughs> How you doing, Rory? Shrek has never looked more radiant. <laughs> yeah, Rory, this hostess is named Shrek. I I got to name her. I love that Chihuahua emote so much, Rory. You don't understand. How much I love it. Thank you for using it. Okay, um, accessories. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay, this is good for refined. This is good for cute. Let's go with that. Alright, we're going ham. Uh, perfect accent. I don't have a lot of money. I don't think I can really do that. That's classy, so that's not gonna be good. Or just, I don't know, man. Okay. Cute and full of life. This says gorgeous. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. This is named gorgeous and the description is chic and mature. Looking in your eyes. That makes me think I should be going with chic and mature description mm. items. I'm gonna get these nails. Alright, let me go through this again. Anything chic. Chic mature. Or not. I don't even know what this one is counting as. I think it's showy. That's what I have the feeling of. Refreshing. That's refined. That's cute. I'm gonna keep the showy. It might it might throw us off. Oh no, I wanna have the earring correction. It might throw us off, but we'll see. Okay, rings. This is cute. I can't afford anything else. Oh, actually, I need to take off the cute ring. Yeah, no cute ring. Okay, watches. Uh, it says gorgeous in the name. And luxurious. So gorgeous has been described as chic, mature, and luxurious. Okay. Can't afford it. No siree. Designer. We only have the cute one, so I'm not gonna wear a watch. I'm not gonna have her wear a watch. Okay. Cheek. We'll do that. Brilliant. Flashy. Let me look for the other ones, but I think I'll go with that. Mature. I think this one might be better. Don't know for sure, but I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I think I've looked through everything again. Let me go look at her hair and outfit again. Mature. Seductive, elegant. Chic, mature. That might be it. Classic. Sexy and cute. Yeah, it's not the bottom two. 
let's go with this one. I haven't bought it yet, but I'm gonna spend my money on it. Ooh, we're in the negatives now. Ooh, uh -oh. uh, can I take it back? I can't. Okay. I can't afford that. So actually, I'm going to keep this one. I don't think this is gonna be a great one, but I can't afford anything else. This I might be able to afford something else. That's standard. Modern, elegant, I don't think so. Not that one. And that one's just mature. This is refined. This is cute. I don't think I should go for stuff that's just mature. But I don't know. Okay, let's keep that. Let's keep that color. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save it as gorgeous even though I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. We shall see. Life and give and take. What? Shrek? Yes, I named her Shrek. You'll see. Not just Shrek, but Shrek. <laughs> Shrektacular. To the beat of my heart. Hostesses have layers. <laughs> Indeed they do. Okay, this is uh, gorgeous, hopefully. Yeah, this is like a ton of trial and error if you never look up a guy. Alright. Let's... Let's see. Let's see. What are your feelings, Flay? <laughs> I came in like a shrekking ball! <laughs> Thank you, Rory! <laughs> There's a pun I haven't heard yet in chat. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, Brandon, but I'm not sure you have the <laughs> flame, please. <laughs> yeah, we were we were making all like ogre puns. Thank you for the Shrek ball. Thank you. Um, okay, so actually I did okay. We got flashy gorgeous, not the highest. But I think that's good enough. Um <laughs> That, that's pretty good, I think. Uh, I don't know what else they asked for as far as like charisma and such. I don't remember, but I can't change anything anyway. I think they wanted charisma actually, and then it went down. I don't know. Okay, let's just go. Yeah, she got requested. Shrek seems to be keeping herself occupied. Okay, gorgeous. Smooth talkers. Cutesy. Okay, we're good for gorgeous. I'm not gonna change her outfit, but they want charismatic. Okay. I'm gonna keep her as is. And I'm going to try to train her for charisma, but she might be too stressed. We'll see. Now that you're getting used to training, let's give you a few more options. Oh, sweet god. The following three options will allow you to balance a hostess's stress and motivation, improving their overall condition. Okay. Lecture allows you to motivate a hostess. It also has a slight beneficial effect on other stats, but at the cost of greatly increasing stress. Yeah, I get stressed when I'm lectured. Relax lets a hostess take some time off for herself. Good for when you need to lower her stress. Encourage raises a hostess's motivation without increasing stress. I mean, who doesn't like a compliment, right? Should I be writing this down? <laughs> okay, lecture. Motivation up. Stress up. Relax is kind of in the name. Don't need that. Uh, encourage is motivation up. Stress no. Why would you why would you ever use lecture when you can just use encourage all the time? Use these training options wisely to get your hostess in prime condition. I see. So there's more now. Okay. Her motivation's all the way up, actually, so let's do 
she she is gonna get more stressed, but I am going to do charisma. Hmm. Unless she's too stressed to learn anything. So maybe maybe it would be better to well okay, maybe it would be better to let her relax. And uh it's weird, because, like, you have free time and relax? I think I should do free time, because I think free time decreases stress, but also does something else. I actually got, oh, almost everything right. Looks like, I guess, the mermaid dress, huh? <laughs> it only takes a few shrekens to please her. Too stressed to learn is such a damn mood, I tell you what. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they make sense. It's just realistic. If you just compliment her, motivation goes down. I see, so... No, he said encourage increases motivation, does nothing to stress. Lecture increases motivation, but also increases stress. Relax decreases stress, but also might decrease motivation. I don't remember if he said that. Lecture is just a better free time. It said increases her stress, so I don't want to do that, because her stress is already pretty high. I want to do something that decreases it, so if anything I would do free time or relax. <laughs> no lecture, only Shrekture. <laughs> she really looks like the girl in Sucker Punch. Let me see. I think I know what you're talking about. I've seen that movie, yeah. Are you talking about the, the blonde protagonist? With like the the low pigtails. This is such a bop though. Yes, her. Oh, baby doll. Okay. I think that I think that was her name, yeah. I haven't seen that in years. Oh sorry, I meant relax. Relax is a better free time. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say like lecture is better than free time. <laughs> not not in my world. <laughs> Okay. But doesn't free time also randomly increase a stat? And relax, I think, just decreases stress. <laughs> Shrucker punch. <laughs> Did you ever get around to watching Booksmart? No, I haven't. I I haven't really given myself time to watch movies. I, I we had to take Mochi to the vet again uh, over the weekend. And then we went to uh, Rumo's parents' house for some din-din, so I didn't really get a chance. Sucker Punch, the Zack Snyder movie? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I recognize the name Zack Snyder, but I can't put a face to it. <laughs> Relax decreases stress by a lot. I think I might still go with free time. If her stress was like all the way up, I would do relax. But because it's only kind of up there, I'm gonna do free time and hope that it increases charisma. I liked Sucker Punch. I felt like it could have it could have much more potential. I honestly barely remember the movie. I think I did have like my criticisms of it, but I think it was fun to watch. I really don't remember. Like, I kind of have, like, a memory of liking it and also a memory of not liking it. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I think I just can't remember the movie well enough. Or you should watch the greatest movie of all time. It's called Bad Apples. Brandon. <laughs> yeah, you, you being, you being a little bit of a, maybe perhaps a little bit of a fibber. Oh, Zack Snyder is the director of 300. <laughs> I've heard the name before, but <laughs> I can't say I really remember directors' names. I mean, I know Tim Burton, you know, but aside from that... 
Like if you throw a name out there, be like, oh yeah, I, I know that one, but you know. It's about Halloween. It looks scary. And bad apples. Halloween and bad apples. Rory, don't fall for his shenanigans. <laughs> Brandon is up to some shenanigans, yes. Okay, I'm gonna do free time. Let's do that. And bad apples. Or apples. <laughs> bad apples. I just want someone else to waste their time. I feel robbed. <laughs> hey, you you were the one that, you know, said the jig is up. You, you could have kept going with it. <laughs> but you shouldn't trick people into watching bad movies. Just be just be upfront like, hey, do you wanna watch a really bad movie? <laughs> Some people like to watch horrible movies. Okay, let's see what that did. See, charisma went up, stress went down. Alright. Good, good, good. All around. Okay, we are... Mm, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Okay, okay. Hey, Rory, wanna know a bad movie to watch? It's called Bad Apples on Hill. <laughs> there you go, see? Shrek seems to be keeping herself occupied. <laughs> Good looking, smooth talking, cute. I should probably go with cute then. Charisma is fine. Looks? Oh, I see. Okay, they're talking about good looking as far as the look stat. So they want high looks, high charisma, and cute. Okay. We gotta change her outfit. Okay, we'll do training. They want charisma and looks. Looks is lower. I'm gonna go with looks. Seems like free time only raises a stat temporarily. Oh. If you want it to be permanent, you have to train. It does work in a pinch, though. Doing very well. Alright. So even if Charisma goes down, at least she'll have looks. It's still up, actually. Okay. I hope it stays like that. Now let's change you into cute outfits. gonna cost us money. Can we do it? Oh no. Oh, it's probably the nails that got us over the money limit. Oh man. I don't really want to take him off. Can you I don't die? think that I can do it though if it's... Yeah, you don't have enough money. Okay. Uh, in that case, I am going to take off the nails. And hopefully it's okay. Yeah, we can afford that. It's gonna be lower cute though. But I think that's the best we can do. Damn, you can't even afford it. <laughs> Get shrekt! <laughs> I didn't know I would ever enjoy Shrek fun so much. <laughs> Oof. I mean, she still has pretty good cute, though. B charisma, B looks. This is actually good. Um, stress is fine. Motivation, perfect. <laughs> this is my bankruptcy! <laughs> my swoop! I go crazy for the cute girls. <laughs> if you ever think you can't make it in life, just watch that movie. Because if those people made it, so can you. Yeah, they got to star in a movie. And it didn't even do that. It wasn't even that good. Okay. Shrek seems to be keeping herself occupied. 
looks cute. I mean, we don't get to go again anyway. Looks. Okay. That's my daily motivation for y'all. They got to star in Bad Apples, because they was the bad apples. <laughs> ah, they were bad actors, so they got into Bad Apples. Well, there you have it, Brandon. Rory explained it all. Shrek sons rank went up. <laughs> Shrek son. Shrek sama. <laughs> Shrek chan. <laughs> Shrek chan. <laughs> oh, I almost unplugged my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Some, somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ate the sharpest Shrek in the club. What's y'all's favorite apple? I prefer Granny Smith and Honeycrisp. Ooh, Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp hits. <laughs> it really does. Honey, Honeycrisp is very, very good. Expensive. But very good. If you're able to afford a little bit of a fancier apple, it is very good. Aside from that, I like Gala apples. I I hate Red Delicious. The only the only correct thing in that name is the red part. <laughs> it's not delicious. I I really don't like Red Delicious. They're like very grainy, like sand, it, gritty. It, I don't like it. I do use them when I make apple pies. Um, but I- oh, you know what? No, I used to. I used to use Red Delicious, and then I changed to Honeycrisp, actually. Um, so they're much better now. They taste a lot better. Granny Smith is also good, but I don't always want a sour apple. I usually prefer sweet, but I, I don't hate Granny Smith. Sometimes it does schmack, <laughs> as Calvin likes to say. <laughs> Does this make Akiyama her fairy godmother? Yes. <laughs> Donkey Kun! <laughs> Shrek son, yes. Oh, Ambrosia. I don't think I've had an Ambrosia apple. I don't know if they sell them at the stores I go to. You pay for fruit? You know you can just eat them in the store. Calvin, <laughs> that's stealing. <laughs> that's just straight up stealing. When I when I was younger, um, when I would like go grocery shopping with my family, sometimes like someone would have like a bag of grapes and they would just eat some of the grapes. And even when I was little, I was like, that's bad. You shouldn't be eating it before you pay for it. <laughs> So yes, I've always been like this. <laughs> That's stealing, Calvin! And te te it really is, because when you eat the grapes in the bag, you're taking the weight off, and they you pay by the weight. Uh, so... <laughs> Don't call me that! <laughs> I knew so... Three of you are calling me a narc. Wow. I was a child. How can you do that? It's not like if I see someone else eating grapes out of the bag that I don't know, I'm gonna go tell someone. You live your life, alright? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell on someone who's eating grapes. I don't know what their life is like. Maybe they have to do that. <laughs> I bet you would. I really wouldn't. I mind my own business. I said that to someone that was related to me, and I was like, five. <laughs> Calvin, those aren't free samples. I think they schmack <laughs> severely. I go away for a couple hours and this is what happens. Yeah, Shrek's on. Shrek's on. Shrek the hostess. <laughs> Grape narc. The grocery narc. <laughs> we don't respect rats here. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. As a kid, yes, I was like, 
very much a rule follower and like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Especially like to like my parents, like, um, uh, you should, I don't know. I, I can't think of anything else other than the grape thing, but. <laughs> Fruit narc. Fruit narc. <laughs> but, uh, nowadays it's like, I don't know, live your life, do your thing. Uh, unless you're hurting somebody. Uh, directly, then yes, uh, anyone should step in and be a good person and call the police if someone is being injured. But if it's just fruit, you know, it's fruit. I can tell you've been both- oh, I can tell you've both been putting a lot into it. Keep up the excellent work. It's gonna be like two months from now, and I'm gonna see there's a new clip under my clip section. It's gonna be of me being called a narc by like five people. <laughs> but it won't have a title, it'll just be a clip and I won't know why someone did it. Great work today, let's aim for the next milestone. That happens sometimes, like I'll see a clip of like a last, you know, a Yakuza video from months ago, and it won't be titled. It'll just be a random moment, and I don't know what, I don't know why you, they clipped it. I don't understand, I don't know. I don't understand. There's not always something funny that happens, so I'm like, eh. Okay. <laughs> At least you aren't a fruit- Oh, a fruit. Sorry, you didn't spell it silly. Fruit gummy narc. What would be a fruit gummy narc? Only a true monster would do that. Is a fruit gummy narc- is, is, Okay. Would that be someone that, that tells on someone that is, like, opening up a, a gummy vitamin bottle and eating the vitamins in the store? <laughs> like, what would that be? <laughs> what would that entail? And we made money. We made making money. Motivation up. Kevin has redeemed to ask a question. Would you like to know Fruit Narc? <laughs> Is that narc of fruit gummies or a gummy narc <laughs> made of fruit? Wow, you're really asking the, the serious questions out here, Noku. I don't think I have an answer. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. It's like being a fruit narc but with more gum. So you're telling on someone while you're eating gum. Maybe that's what it can be. Alright, let me save. Change your role in the Discord. Are you telling me? In my- in my streamer Discord. To change my title. From just my username. To Fruit Narc. Is- is that what you're telling me? It's gummy fruit. <laughs> Made of narc. A tattletale gummy fruit. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want gummies now? Me and Rubo actually have gummy vitamins. I'm not ashamed. They actually taste kind of good. They're easy to eat. <laughs> yeah, I think... It's about that time. I will do one more. I will do one more round of post to sing. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Alright. Let's see what they want. What do the people want from me? Flashy. Smart. Flashy. Smart. Okay, flashy and smart. Please don't OD on gummies. Don't take more gummies than you need to. Unless they're like gummy worms. But we're talking about vitamin gummies. Hey Sly, welcome! Oh my god. Angry! <laughs> I just got here. Oh, I'm sorry Sly. Yeah, we'll be ending in maybe like mm, 15 minutes? I don't know, however long it takes me to do this, but... But welcome anyway. I'm very invested in Shrek's hostess career. Me too. 
I think naming naming her something unique is making me care more, you know? I don't think I really renamed the the girl in Y3. I think I just left it. Get Shrek Chan to the top of the Hostess League. I hope I can eventually. Definitely won't be tonight. <laughs> I didn't think I would be invested, but here we are. Same! So Shrexy! <laughs> shrek is so Shrexy. Sometimes I think about the sentences that I have to say out loud while I stream and I just... New! New! What do you mean? <gasps> Hair accessories? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll have to look at those in a second. Hold on, I gotta- I gotta see this. We got new earrings. Okay, damn. damn. Our options are really, uh, open up- open it up here for you. Now, okay, they want flashy. I have not done that yet. They want flashy and smart. I think her smarts are fine. I- I have to remember to do the training. I usually try to do the training first, I forgot. Flashy. We don't have a ton of money. But I am gonna try to change her hair. At least. Modern, elegant, mature. This is mature. This is cute. Standard is refined. I think this might be the best bet. I'm gonna keep it like this. You know, actually, we had a lot of, uh, Flashy with the gorgeous outfit. I'm gonna switch to that automatically and then see if I can improve upon Flashy. Can I afford this? I can. This actually was, I think it was equally uh, Flashy and. Um, it wasn't gorgeous, it was uh, something else that went with gorgeous. I can't remember. Okay, so. Let me try to fix this up. Hair is going to stay. Outfit. I don't want to mess with it. I'm going to leave it. Makeup, I'm going to leave it. Okay, let's work on these. This is what I want to look at. To be fair, no one's making you read them out loud. I am a very chat-focused person, though. I don't read out every single thing, and sometimes I miss messages. <laughs> but... I mean, saying Shrek Coon is so Shrexy. It, what repercussions could there be for that? <laughs> Other than someone thinking that what I'm saying is stupid. <laughs> Which, it doesn't matter. You had all the power in the world to not say that. Don't blame Rory. Okay, you know what? A part of me wanted to say it. There. There. <laughs> Fine. It's okay. I take the blame. Yeah, I already thought of that flame. <laughs> I'm clipping you saying that and sending it to the FBI. You admitted it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? You know what, Calvin? That would make you the narc. <laughs> Not me! <laughs> and that's a real <laughs> narc. Not about fruit. Okay. Hair accessory. <laughs> Sly, I know you just got here. Uh, we were making jokes about me being a narc earlier because I, I used to tell um, my family members would, uh, like, not every time we went to the grocery store, but like one or few times. <laughs> thank you for the follow fruit, narc. I don't know who that is, but thank you. <laughs> Um, oh, when we would go sh shopping as a family, sometimes uh, they would like eat the grapes out of the bag before we paid for it, and I would be like, you shouldn't do that! You're stealing! And then it devolved into this. <laughs> Look what you've turned me into. I didn't do anything. You chose that life. <laughs> you chose to do that. The narc just called you out, Kevin. How typical. You know. I can't fight you guys. <laughs> this is unequal. 
Rubo's not even here to help defend me. <laughs> I'm on my own. Even my mod is against me. <laughs> overflowing with elegance. I don't feel like I'm overflowing with elegance right now. Girly, so that's quite cute. Classic simple. Some may say too simple, but they're wrong. Definitely none of these would work. Well, that might work, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on it. I might want the tiara. I did have to wear a tiara one time for my quinceanera. I got to wear one. An impressively gorgeous pair of earrings. Okay, that's definitely gorgeous. We're not we're not going for gorgeous though. And this says gorgeous in the name. Lassie. Huh. Mature earrings. Punctuated by miniature gold butterflies. Now, this looks flashy to me. Well, no, we have Showy right here. Okay, we're gonna go with Showy. Not the new earrings. Can't believe I let you know about the free ducks at the park. Shake my head. <laughs> have I broken your trust, Calvin? You were the one that was gonna break my trust by sending the clip to the FBI. I, I should be the one that's upset. Oh boy. This is... <laughs> okay, I'm not reading this. <laughs> Shrikey. Oh, like crikey? Crikey. Crikey. I'll say that. You shouldn't steal wild ducks. It's not stealing if they're free. <laughs> Okay, uh what did I have before? Nothing? Looking in your eyes. I think I would rather go with the the TR if anything. I think the TR is elegant though. I don't know if that's gonna work. That's uh thinking about full you. of life. I'm gonna leave it like this. I can't afford anything else, so I'm gonna leave it. And really, I mean, I can afford it, but I'm gonna have nothing, so uh, I'm gonna leave that off. I think this should stay too, because I don't want to mess with too much if it's already working for me. I think I had those earrings, um, but I, I think I do want to get the tiara. It is elegant. But like out of all three, I think it's showy. It's not that expensive. Please say you can make her dress green. I don't think I can change the color of the outfits. I'm, I'm pretty upset about it. I would make it green. Apparently the color of the hair can actually affect the stats that she gets, so... If they did give you the ability to make the dress green, it would probably affect the stats in a way I don't want. But I still wish that that was a possibility. As far as I know, you can't change the color of the outfits. It doesn't give me that option, so... I am sorry. I am also disappointed, trust me. Yeah. I want the tiara! It's okay. We make up for it by giving her clothing layers. <laughs> like an onion. Oh, so, so at the end, you can customize everything. I thought it was just what you could customize already. Okay, Notoku, we can have the green dress, but I have to get her to the top first. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. Eventually. Okay, I'm gonna save this as a different one. I'm gonna save it as... Uh, Oh shoot, I just undid it. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost messed it up. Okay, save. I'm gonna save that as showy. Because that's what we're kind of going for here. And hopefully it works. Top Shrektress. <laughs> yes. In the entire Shrektress club. 
Let's uh let's go with that. I can do some training too. Tier three, Shrektress. Looking in your eyes. That looks showy to me, but we'll see. Queen. Yes, yeah. Queen, yes. Yeah. Shrek Queen! Okay, we actually got, I think, more gorgeous than flashy. And a little bit of cute. Maybe the TR kind of threw us off. I think it's still okay, though. I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, training. They wanted a... Uh, oh. I think they wanted charisma? Oh, it's... It, I forgot what they wanted. They wanted showy? I think charisma. Or were they saying smart? No, I think they said smart. Actually, I don't know if any of y'all remember what they said. Uh, I, it might have been smart. I mean, charisma and looks are good anyway. So if I do smart, it'll just be the safe move, I think. Unless charisma goes back down, but I'll see. Gold tier, actually, green tier. Somebody once told me that girl is kind of Shrek-y. <laughs> I forgot what they want. Me when I order food for my friends. <laughs> I always have to write stuff down. I mean, even when we go grocery shopping, I have like a, a note app on my phone I have to use. Yeah, I was gonna go for smarts anyway. That's what I was gonna do. Very well. Okay, all bees. Cool. Low stress. Flashy, gorgeous, and a little cute. Oh yeah? What's on your note app? Keep an eye out for grape thieves. Then I saw her face! Now I'm a Shrek Lever. <laughs> Shrek had a great soundtrack. I I love the version of uh I need a hero from Shrek 2. That will always be the best the best version to me. My favorite <laughs> is the one that the fairly godmother. Fairy. Fairly? Fairy godmother sings. I was in another tab and felt that piercing glare. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that chain that chain smoker song. <laughs> I can't rem I can't remember the tune for that. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your shrover. <laughs> I always make fun of that song. Whenever me and Ribo hear it on the radio, I just like repeat it in a stupid voice. I I can't remember the tune though. But Shrek songs? I got that. <laughs> Shrek seems to be keeping herself occupied. Man, the thing is, like, okay, I'll get her to number one girl, right? If I want to get another girl to number one, how can I, how can I do better than Shrek? I don't feel like anything I name the other girls could ever upstage Shrek. She is always going to be the number one hostess in our hearts, I feel like. we would. I would really have to come up with something good to name the other girls. Because this is just, I mean, we're going for a ride <laughs> with this one. It's so overplayed. Are oh, you talking about the, the Chainsmokers song? Yes, I agree with that. That's why I make fun of it. You know what movie had a great soundtrack? Garden State. I don't think I've seen that. Brandon, you didn't even give us a chance to guess. I don't think Brandon wanted us to guess. Don't upstage her. Just be worthy of being in her presence. Wow. You're right. Yeah, the Chainsmoker song is so overplayed. I make fun of it too. It's, it's pretty easy to make fun of. 
But yeah, like I don't I don't really hear it anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no, this is a good thing. There are sparkles. Shreks. Doing a great job with her customers. She must be feeling great too. I think I'm done surveying. I didn't hear what they wanted. Okay, gorgeous. Flashy. Smart. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta start writing this down. Okay, gorge. Gorgeous. Flashy. I think we can keep her as is, actually. Smart. I mean, I think smart and charisma were fine. We don't need to do anything. I can improve it, but okay. I wrote it down. That's too many things for me to remember in my brain at once, okay? <laughs> With everything else I'm doing. <laughs> Calvin's answer to Brandon's question is Shrek. Oh, like make a kazoo version of it? Oh, I haven't heard that. Django Unchained has one of my favorite soundtracks, though, honestly. That, yeah, I agree. That was just a good movie. Oh, you got your first super service. Oh, that's what that was. I only need four more. What are you quoting, Rory? <laughs> I... No, I, I don't know what you're quoting. Okay, uh, let's see. What are your stats? We got cute, flashy, gorgeous, refined. I have to remember that these are the names of the stats. Cute, refined, gorgeous, flashy. So they want gorgeous and flashy. She's fine. I'm not going to change anything. They want smart and charisma. I could just improve one of those to make it even better. I think I'll just do that. Let's do charisma. <laughs> Don't narc Rory, it's a trick. What kind? <laughs> you want me to read it out loud, is that it? Oh yeah, I, I knew you were talking about uh, the Django, Brandon. No worries. She just wants as many people as possible to join the <laughs> Come and stop! <laughs> stop! Okay, uh, you're doing very well. Y'all are never- <laughs> Okay, I'm just- <laughs> Y'all aren't gonna let it go though, I know. I, I, I'm gonna play, uh, Metal Gear tomorrow and you're gonna find a way to throw it in there. I just know it. Okay, so it- it didn't actually go up. Uh, I don't think I'm even gonna change anything. <laughs> don't trust her narcways. I'm not letting it go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Calvin, is this something I can play on stream? Good, good. <laughs> Let the narc flow through you. <laughs> I should have never told y'all about that stupid grape story. <laughs> I didn't think it would come to this. Oh, it's the chain. Oh, the Chainsmoker song. I can't play it, Rory. It's copyrighted. Bootnock. <laughs> oh, it's the kazoo cover. Okay, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> That's not copyrighted. <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> Copyright holders! Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, uh... I, I feel bad just like ending it there, so hold on. There's gotta be something that's just the kazoo. I mean, there is the classic, uh, let me see. I think most of them are gonna have to backtrack though. I don't know if it would it would catch that or not. I don't know. I'm dying at the fix they had in the video. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, 
Okay, this- I think this person, like, did piano and kazoo and everything, so this should be fine. Oh, there's also the, uh, wait. Okay, there's also, uh, the flute one. I think most- most of- most people have heard the flute one, though. Okay, we can watch both a little bit. It's late. This is what happens. It's about to be 2 a.m. Oh, dear god. Alright, alright. I have something else for you guys. I haven't watched this before. See, it's not just a kazoo. They did, like, the whole... They did the whole thing. Media share stream, let's go, it's just chatting time. <laughs> no, just for a few minutes. just a classic. That person was so good. I mean, they did the entire they did the entire song. If Celine Dion was dead, she would be rolling in her grave. Maybe she's just kind of like having a nightmare and tossing and turning then. <laughs> Please go back to Yakuza. Never thought I would say that. <laughs> Today we have made history, folks. <laughs> oh my god, all star cuz you know what? You're right. Okay. One more. I hope I can find one that doesn't have the backtrack. They- they really- I mean, you might think I'm being overly cautious, but they really do catch on to, like, just backtrack stuff. I think, uh... Okay, well this is different, but I- I uploaded my- the first part of my Persona playthrough. I haven't published it yet, but, um... A song was copyright stricken. I didn't get a strike, it's just like sharing the monetization, I guess, which is fine. Um, but it was just like a song in the game, and it, it thought it was a cover as well. I think because I was talking and the characters were talking over it, and it's like, well, it's not a cover, it's just, it's in the game. I, I can't avoid the song, I'm not trying to steal music. It's just in the game. But, okay, anyway. Okay, this looks like it's all kazoo. I think this is what we're looking for here. his eyes and tell me that he's not a good hostess. <laughs> Nobody wanted this. That's a lie. We, we probably have a 50-50 mix of people who didn't want it and people who did. <laughs> I didn't know I wanted it until I had it. There's another. <laughs> exactly. Nobody. Wow. Man. He's the greatest host of, hostess of all time. Yes. What was I doing? <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm changing her outfit. I already trained her. Gorge, Flash, uh, Smarts, Charisma. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. I'm not gonna change anything else. Let's go. I thought I wanted it until I got it. <laughs> yeah, you were the one that brought up the Smash Mouth uh, kazoo cover. <laughs> Notoku. You brought this upon us. 
Okay, gotta clear my browser history now. <laughs> so people don't know you looked up kazoo Shrek covers. Alright. Shrek is attending to quite a few people. She even has a helper. Damn! Shrek is really getting up there in the hostess realm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Come back. Oh, it's good, good. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have three more to go. Okay. Okay, we're... Oh, they're changing it up. All right. Now they want refinement. Gorgeous. Oh, maybe we don't have to change. Looks. Charisma. Okay. I, I might not change it then if they want gorgeous, because she has good gorgeous stats. Shrek is vibing. Shrek has good vibes. Is it Donkey? <laughs> yes, Donkey is Shrek's helper. <laughs> I swear if Amazon starts thinking I need kazoos and Shrek DVDs. It might. It might. It's scary how uh, accurate it can be sometimes. I think I made myself too small. I think I was like... I don't know. It's okay. I'm gonna be ending soon. I'm going over time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, stats. Yeah, gorgeous is fine. I'm not gonna change anything about that. We can do training. Uh, she might be too stressed. Yeah. So let's do... Let's just do relax. I haven't tried it yet. I think you should take some time off for yourself and relax for a bit. Rook. Hey, Wafer, welcome! How you doing? Many memes are being had at the moment. <laughs> Many Shrek memes. So, uh, I'm doing a mini game in Yakuza right now where you can dress up a hostess and try to make her more um, successful, basically, with getting customers. And you get to name them. So I named mine Shrek. So lots of uh, Shrek memes and puns have been had in chat today. Case in point, what Rory said. Shrek is Shrekin, Shrektacular, and Shriek. Sweet? Sweet? Nice. Sounds terrifying. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Let it be known that vibing has become a part of my lexicon because of you guys. Good. Good. Uh-oh. Calvin redeemed Bishy Bug. Oh, sweet god. Alright. Bishy Bug it is. Okay, it was sweet. I was able to tell what it was. Alright. Um. <laughs> the first thing Wafer sees is Bishy Bug. <laughs> Alright. Let me do that. Bishy Bug is here. I am Bishy Bug. I'm the tiara now. Am I? I fit perfectly, actually. This is a perfect place for me to be. Yes, I am small. <laughs> I am very small. <laughs> perfect fit. I could also be uh, just chilling on Akiyama's back, I guess. I'm a piece of lint. <laughs> Please Tia tomorrow by Doja Cat. Yes. I don't even know what this is. I'm not gonna sit on it. Uh, I am be here. I am be on a jar. Or, you know, I probably belong here. I am a bug. Oh, it's a hot water dispenser. What tea? I almost thought it looked like a rice cooker, but I was like, no. Why would they have that in here? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Hot water dispenser makes a lot more sense. I guess I have not seen one. I am refined! Fishy bug is very refined. <laughs> the hostesses are just back there. Back here eating plain rice. <laughs> no soy sauce. No purikake. No nothing. Just, 
just right. I'm just right in the middle. I am her stress level. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna chill over here. I control the time. What spectrum? Alright, um, I don't think I'm actually gonna change anything. Oh, what spectrum does Fishybug land on? Obviously refined. Fishybug is so refined. I have all of the manners. I'm gonna go to the club. I stay out of people's way. You see, I'm a bug, but like, I don't bother people. I'm just hanging out on the watch. I might not even exist in this realm. And if I do exist, I'm just chilling on the light. Like, what harm am I doing? <laughs> Refined chaotic. <laughs> oh yeah, what would Bishybug be on like the chaotic scale? I mean, not chaotic evil. I don't think chaotic evil. Definitely chaotic though. Now my hat. Where? Else, where? There's gotta be somewhere better for me to be. Okay, I'm gonna take me somewhere. <laughs> I like how he walks. Oh my god. This walk cycle is amazing. This is the grandpa walk! He's doing the grandpa walk. Uh oh. Is it good? Oh, it's good. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Please don't burn me! I didn't do anything to deserve this. <laughs> Get lit. Oh my god. Excellent customer service! Okay, I'm gonna take me somewhere else. No. 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 Don't, no, don't leave me. Don't leave me in the trash. Akiyama, please don't leave me in the trash. <laughs> Get roasted. Is there an open flame anywhere? I think that was it. I like being the flowers. I am doing you a service. Okay. No. No, don't. No, no. No, don't. <laughs> Haki, I was in yeet. <laughs> okay, wait. No. Wait. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> This is so dumb, okay. No! Oh! Okay, that was not worth it. <laughs> that was too much of a setup for nothing. He left me there. Where else can I go? <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Calvin. Trash bug. Oh, this is nice. Look at this lighting. This is nice. This is where I belong. I just want to be- Oh, to be a bug. Oh, to be a little bug on a on a plant. <laughs> oh, to be a bug on a branch in a hostess club. You think you can run from me? Huh? You think you can walk calmly away from me? Oh, wait, I'm gonna hop from seat to seat. <laughs> He's getting so sick of me, I know. Make me a drink! I would like apple juice, please. <laughs> Wait, no! I... <laughs> I'm gonna wake up my neighbors, I'm laughing so hard. Oh. Yeah, now you're making me think about my laughter. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you're crying, Lori. I didn't mean to make you cry. I was gonna sit. You know what? Where's my host at Sakiyama? Do you- can you hear me? Where- where's my hostess? I know I'm a bug, but I'm a paying customer. Just like everyone else. Why- why are you treating me this way? First you throw me in the trash can. And then- and then someone tries to light me off and tries to burn me! What kind of ser what kind of establishment are you running here, man? What kind of service are you providing? I can barely call it service at all. You know what? Give me corporate's number. Give me corporate's number. 
Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> oh no, yeah, like I'm thinking about like how loud I am. I guess Akiyama's decided this is where I belong, huh? Okay. Well, let me finish this up then. Well done, Akiyama-san! See you next time! Into the void I go. Trek! Trek! Trek. <laughs> okay. Good motivation. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Rory. We did pretty good on sales. As distracted as we got. As distracted as I was, it was pretty good. Oh, now I'm actually kind of large. Compared- oh wow. <laughs> I am the protagonist now. Only two more services to go. Yeah. Oh, super services, yes. <laughs> Something so hard. Hmm. I am the I am the protagonist now. He's just gonna he's just gonna sit here cross armed, huh? <laughs> Don't step on me. Don't what? Don't Akiyama, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't step on me, please! Akiyama, no! <laughs> I'm phasing through him. Take me- take me here! I wanna go eat! Akiyama, can you take me to eat? Yeah, I wanna go in here. God, I wish I could make him punch, like, <laughs> outside of battles. <laughs> um, I'm here, how you gonna get me? I'm up here, you- I'm I'm up here, you're not tall enough. Oh. <laughs> I am the driver now. I drive the car. This kind of looks like a... What kind of car would this be? It has a little light up here. I don't know if it's a taxi. Is it a police car? I don't know. <laughs> Why am I so easily <laughs> Why am I so easily amused? <laughs> I'm just smaller. <laughs> I'm just small. That's it. Where else can we go? Akiyama with a tiny bug. Where will he go? Ugh. I gotta scuttle behind him. Oh, he, he's kind of kicking me. Okay, I'm gonna stay back here. I do not want to be on the on the other end of Akiyama's kicks. Definitely not. Akiyama, where are we going? Where are you taking me? Huh? I actually don't know where I'm going. Where are we going, though? <laughs> hey, awesome brand, welcome. I don't remember the version of Yakuza 4 with Navi. Yeah, this is a DLC they have for the remaster, actually. It's pretty exclusive. Oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna grandpa scuttle away from me? You gonna grandpa shuffle the other direction? Coward? You're just a coward. You're gonna fight that rich man? Fight him. I will watch. Oh, I don't know if I can mess with my webcam and fight at the same time. Let's try it! Yeah, get him! Get him, Akiyama! Get him! Look at that health! Look at that health going down! Do it! I'm gonna watch from up here. This is a good vantage point. Yeah, do a heat move! Oh, I missed it. Whoops. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh. 
god. Oh, oh, oop, oop. I'm paying for my crimes. I'm paying for my crimes. I'm paying for my bitchy bug crimes. Okay, uh... I'm doing- I'm doing the- I'm using the control with my left hand. There we go. You did it! Look at that! <laughs> One-handed battles. Yeah, I think uh, we've been uh, using Bishy Bug long enough at this point. <laughs> that was a pretty long bit there. I'm just gonna put that away. Okay. Okay, normal Bishy is returning. Here I am. I'm gonna keep the antenna on though. Cause it's fun. I can be normal size sometimes. <laughs> Major Isun vibes, yes. Hey, listen! <laughs> that woman's eating grapes and we're paying! <sighs> you, you, none of you are gonna let it go. None of you. I, I have no allies in this. Everyone is against me. Did you save? I'm about to go save. No worries, my health is good. Always so delightful. Oh, here's a trash can. I was looking for another trash can outside. I didn't see it. I only in battles. I intend to hire you. Now we know why everyone is fighting you, Nark. Wow. I have never been so insulted in my entire career. My entire, a little over one year, <laughs> career. As a streamer. I've never felt so attacked in my life. Are you, are you almost done, sir? Oh, y'all are saying we're in the same color! Y'all are like coordinating! Well, not anymore. What is everyone's zodiacs? I'm a Virgo. What about you, Rory? I think it's pretty obvious that I'm a Virgo, personally. <laughs> Oh, do you mean Chinese zodiacs? Okay, for Chinese zodiacs, I am uh, uh, the boar. So you are. Could you tell I was a Virgo? <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> so you are Virgonian? Oh, Virgonian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? A Virgonian. Hey, Eclipse. Welcome. Oh, you're a snake in the zodiac. Flame is red boy. Red boy. <laughs> it's pronounced Virginian. <laughs> oh, Calvin, you're a Sagittarius. I knew the ox part because you've mentioned it before. I don't think I've ever met someone who is Sagittarius that I knew of, anyway. I don't really ask people what their astrological sign is when I first meet them. <laughs> <laughs> Shrekatarius. It's year of the the Actually I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I changed my mind. Okay, I don't know if I have anything I want to put away. Yeah, I have this, but I'm still getting into battles. Maybe it's a little easier to avoid them and I'm just not paying attention because I'm fish book. Thank you all so much for being here. I had a lot of fun today towards the end of the stream. Uh, I hope you all have a great night, and uh, I hope you all have a great day tomorrow too. And yeah, I have a schedule down there that shows when I go live in your time zone. I also have a schedule of games in my about section so you can know what games I play on which days. I hope I see you all again soon. Have a great night. I'll see you next time.